pretty cool thing. So uh, I rolled up my shoes tonight. I think I put uh, I think I put Mamba f uh, for life, eight twenty four uh, KB, because um, it's really it's really that it's really that mutual. So. Who was the guy that brought chills up and down your spine when he came onto the floor? The greatest player you ever saw. That would have to be the goal. That's a pretty cool thing. So, uh, I rolled up my shoes tonight. I think I put, uh, I think I put Mamba f uh, for life, eight twenty four uh, KB, because um, it's really, it's really that, it's really that mutual. So. Who was the guy that brought chills up and down your spine when he came onto the floor? The greatest player you ever saw. That would have to be the goal. Yo, 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 whoa, whoa. What's your boy Goat in the building? Hit the likes and come subscribe. Turn on your post notifications for all your boy Goat. All submitted platforms. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. Share with your friends, mama, daddy, brother, sister, uncle, niece, nephew, cousins, best cousins, uncles, 
best uncles, best nieces. Share with your whole family. Let them know, subscribe to the GOAT. Make sure they pull it in. When I pull up in the driveway, on the my way, on the highway. Uh, go ahead, Grinch. Give your intro, Grinch. We got Grinch in the motherfucking building. Yo, the Grinch is here. Yo, what's good? Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good? Hey, Grinch, man. The title of the video, Lakers medical staff need to be investigated for letting AD play without goggles. Wait, wait I don't... Wait, wait. Yeah, because your, your, your title got me confused. Talking about AD needs some goggles. I'm confused. I'm saying the, the Lakers medical staff should have not let him play without goggles. If you got an eye injury, there's no way you should be playing without something on his face. J. Cole is not built like that. He apologized to K. He don't want Man, that. Who, whoever's typing about J. Cole, fuck J. Cole. We're talking about Andy Davis and the medical staff. Go ahead, Grinch. I mean, I mean, what you want me to tackle? I mean, I don't know what you want me to tell you. What I'm telling you is that the medical staff needs to be investigated for letting AD play without something on his face. It's either one, AD should have just set out until he fully recovered. Wait, why does he need a mask to begin with? Wait, what happened? <laughs> you know, the thing oh, I'm saying voice. is, Grinch, what I'm saying is that he got injured against Golden State. You follow me? So the man never he never really recovered from his eye injury. So the fact that you let him play with an eye injury and he's not wearing nothing, he's not wearing anything got, to protect his face. But, 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 but hold on, but, but hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. You gotta understand, like with, with some players, bro, you gotta understand some of them don't like playing with that mask. Like well, for some of them, it bothers then. them. Well, don't play it all then. The medical staff is out of pocket because you look, look, if he's if he's injured and he can't wear a mask, he should have just set out. Well, what, 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 what? Why don't you look at it this way? A for effort? No, I'm not giving no because because him him playing with the eye injury that's pretty serious, bro. That's not no arm, leg, back. That's a serious injury. Your your, your eyes is what you see with. At least he was on the court, though. Like you, you gotta hear no, the cost for that because, like, I, because, 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 Mike, he could have very well sat, sat in the bench. What matters? What matters? And, Grinch, you know, LeBron had the flu-like Grinch, symptoms, I'm gonna ask and AD a, 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 didn't even Grinch, have to play this game if we're being honest. Grinch, but Grinch, but he went out there injured. Grinch, what matters? Um, Grinch, Grinch, I'm gonna ask the, you this again. Did, did LeBron do that? Grinch, I'm gonna ask you this again. Grinch, Grinch. Look, I'm gonna ask you again. Last time I checked, LeBron did Grinch, not play. He said he got playing, flu like symptoms. Grinch, playing with the Grinch. Once again, Grinch, having the flu and playing with an eye injury is two separate things. Oh my God. AD, AD should have not been playing with the eye injury. You're not going to get around that. He should have not been on the court with the eye injury. Period. He should have set his ass out, fully recovered, then came back. Grinch. Okay, but, 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 but what's your point? I, I, I'm so confused here. The point that I'm making is is that you went out there and played with an eye injury. That is stupid. It's pathetic. It's dumb. We, we, we need it's these so games fun. to get a better seating. I don't give a we, damn about no We can't just game. sit our Yo, best player in the bench. Bro, fuck the We, bro, we fuck need them the for these crucial games. Bro, fuck the game. Let's be honest. Bro, 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 bro health matters. Let's be Your honest. Your health matters. Bro, I don't give a fuck about no goddamn game. Your health matters more than the fucking game. You don't go out there with no fucking eye injury. Fuck the goddamn game. The fuck we talking about here? You care more about a goddamn game than your own fucking health? The hell? You you gotta what? understand that, that, that we ain't playing like... How hey, things looking right bro, now? Bro, the bro, why in the fuck would you go out here with an eye injury and then get re-injured again? What 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 is the point of that? What is the point of playing with an eye injury 
and you got no fucking mask on your face. If you're gonna play, if you're gonna play with an eye injury, you should you should have to have a mask on. The medical staff need to be investigated because AD should have one set the fuck out or two put a fucking mask on. That should be the fucking rules. If you're gonna play with an eye injury, you gotta put a mask on. Fambo, what do you got? What I'm saying, Fambo. If you got an eye injury, you ain't be able to see that good then. Exactly. You, you'd be lacking on defense and offense. What, what am I basically saying, Fambo? You got to protect the player from what? From themselves. Yeah. Bro, bro, Anthony Davis playing with one eyeball is better than Jackson Hayes and Christian Wood combined. You can't play with no fucking one eye, nigga. I can't that, 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 yesterday. He should have said play with one eye and be better than He should have said it. if he could have played with one eye, why why what why, why, why did he play one quarter then? Yeah, shut the fuck up. I'm just saying when he when he was playing, man, he was if he, he, he could have played with if he could have played with if he could have played one eye, how can he play the whole game? Okay, shut the fuck up. Like I said. He he, he was still playing for the time he was playing. We played one fucking quarter. You can't just throw that out the window. We played one fucking quarter. Fuck out of here. He played one quarter. Did, did, did he? Did he still play? Okay then. If he's, if he's gonna play, did, did, if he, he's gonna did play he still play? In, if he's gonna play with an eye injury, he exactly. should have put a fucking mask. If he's gonna play with an eye injury, he should have put a mask on his fucking face. I don't want to hear shit else. If you're going to play with an eye injury, you put a mask on your fucking face. Or put a patch over the eye. Or put a patch on it, something. You ain't got to wear a mask. Put, put a patch on the motherfucker. Take that bitch up. How the fuck are you coming out here with no fucking, with no, no, no nothing on your fucking face and you got a fucking eye injury? I blame the medical staff, Fambo. This shit is unacceptable. The medical staff need, need, needs to be investigated. You let this man come out here with nothing on his fucking face, and he got a fucking eye injury. You couldn't tape his eye. You couldn't put some fucking stuff on his eye. I'm just saying, bro. How you the fucking medical staff, and you and you let this man hurt himself, not once but twice. So how how's what I'm saying bullshit? Because it's not. The medical staff need to be investigated hey, for so this dumb so shit. Little... Yo, yo, go yo. ahead, thank you all, man. Yo, infamous. Yo, yo, go, Mike, man. I gotta respect to the panel, man. You make a great point, man. I, I can't, you, I can't, I can't deny what you're saying, man. What you're saying is 100 percent on point. What he's saying is right, because if he did have a serious eye injury, they should not even allow. They should have not allowed him out there without eye protection. You're 100 percent right, Mike. I gotta agree with you on this one. Yes, because 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 what if he went blind? Then what you gonna say? His career over. Yeah. His career could be over. Forget about one game. He could lose his fucking career because if people keep hitting you, if people keep smacking you in the eye and shit, what if AD's career ended because of his eye injury? We gonna no, all point back and say, oh, he should have put some on his eye. Well, you, you know what gave you know what kind of indicted them a little bit is when they said that. It's it's a reoccurring injury. That means that it didn't fully heal. He wasn't fully right. healed to be out there. So if he wasn't fully healed to be out there without without eye protection, they should at least allow him and encourage him to put the eye protection on until it's fully healed. Because obviously it wasn't fully healed because they said it's a, it, the injury is a reoccurring injury. It reoccurred. So that's giving me the impression that it wasn't fully healed. So you're right. I, I I agree with you. I don't know if I'll go as far as to blame the medical staff and stuff like that. I mean, that's on you, and you're entitled to that. No, opinion. I blame the medical right. staff for. I, right. I only blame mm -hmm. the medical staff if it's because if you got an injury that's not fully healed, and mm -hmm. they're allowing you to go on the court with no protection at all. Yeah. To me, that's on the medical staff, and that's on. Yeah, the, I, and I, that's I put it on the Lakers organization. Don't. Yeah, you're right. I, so, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I also blame Jeannie Bus. I also blame Darvin Ham. I blame the organization organization as a whole. Yeah, the organization should have. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. They should so, at least allow. He should have at least been out there with some protective eyewear if it's still if it wasn't healed completely. 
If it wasn't fully healed, he should have been out there with protection. You're right. If it was fully, if it was fully healed, if miss, I wouldn't say nothing. But the fact that it right. wasn't fully healed and you let him walk there like that, you right. could have cost you could you could have cost him his whole career. Mm -hmm. oh, and guys, oh, guys, guys like Grinch just sound dumb. That's why you hopped off with his dumb ass. Yeah, Grinch, Grinch fighting this is ridiculous. I don't, I don't see how you can fight this. I mean, you, you make a good point. Your point, your point, you're right on point with this. If, if you wasn't on point with this, I would say, man, you man, you're off base, Gold Mike. But you I don't want to, you want to cost your whole career doing something, playing with something dumb. Right. If you got an right. injury, at least, uh, 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 at least protect that injury. Kind of like LeBron, when LeBron mm -hmm. had that leg, that, that, that cyst in his uh, leg. He played with a sleeve on. He didn't go back out there unprotected. You have to protect yourself, bro. Especially your career. You gotta yeah, think he's AD, he's only, he's only 30 years old. You want to end your career at 30 years old, AD? Be like a great a great oh, heel who ended his career too soon. You want to be like T Mac, who career ended way too soon? You got players' careers that ended too soon because they tried to play through shit instead of letting it letting it recover. Right, AD right. could be on that list if it keeps fucking around. Stop listening to the Laker fans playing through injury. If you injured motherfucker, sit your ass down so you can recover. Because yeah. playing through an injury can cause a whole nother injury. Yeah. If you think about I it. Say, I will say this though, the eye is one of the fastest healing body parts on your body. I will say Not that, if you though. constantly get hit in the face every play. You gotta think AD plays mm -hmm. where? He plays in the paint. So when you play in the paint, what happens is this. You got to constantly be getting smacked, pushed around. AD's Absolutely. a guy that goes to the basket. So when you're a guy Kicking that goes elbows. to the basket, you're, what? Catch your elbows. You catch, you catch your elbows. Up. All mm -hmm. kind of shit. Now, here's so the thing. Now, now, here's an interesting eye. thing. Go ahead. Can I bring this up? Now, what would be mm -hmm. interesting is if he said, if they said, you know what, AD, we advise you if you're going to play to put on to put on uh, the protective eyewear. And he said, "Nah, man, I, I it's going to hinder my game. I'm not I'm not going to wear it." Sit your ass down. Mm. I'd rather him sit down. I'd rather him sit down and don't play till it's fully healed, than go out there with nothing on at all. Because let's say let's say Eddie get hit in the eye, right? And he and his career is over. Because because now you can't see out his fucking eye. So I'm just saying, man, I'd rather you not play at all than you try to force it. Bro, 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 what's more important right now, if miss making the playoffs with a bad eye? No, no, no. What's more important? Your career or playing with a bad eye? You gotta think about it. Your career your is career. more important. Or so it could be a or it could be a it could be A D. He might don't want to do that. Just want to get back in the game too. But that's a that's not a good look for the organization. If you're let, if you're if you're gonna force it, you can end up losing your career. And if you're AD, do you want to really lose your career over playing through an injury when when you could have just rested it? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, be smart. Use your head. There's sometimes in life you gotta say, look, do I wanna force it and risk everything? You know what I mean? You don't wanna do that at age 30. He, he's, he's still got like, you to play. Go ahead, go ahead, Texas. And I said he's 31. Yeah, you're 31. He's still got at least four or five years to play, but 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 if he play if he keep trying to force force play through an eye injury, Texas, and is not putting nothing on his face. And dudes keep smacking him dead in the fucking chops. I'm telling you, all it's gonna take is him to get smacked enough in the face, and his career gonna be over because he can't fucking see. It can get worse and worse. That shit can get worse. And hey, if you play against Texas, Golden State, what's popping, Texas? I didn't know you're on here. And if you play get if you play against Golden State, they're gonna smack him in the face too. I might play. Dead in his chops. Yeah, I say, what's popping, Playboy? I didn't know you were on. My mic clear. Your mic's clear. Yeah, you no, how's it going? How's it going? Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't have anything to say about this. Great. I mean, yeah. I don't have nothing to say about this. Yeah, huh? Salute to UConn. Oh, I don't care. Oh, I don't care about UConn, but yeah, were they undefeated? 
The uh, no. they were undefeated. The women, I don't know. The women, were, the women were undefeated. The women were undefeated. Okay. Did they win? No, no. South yeah. Carolina won. South Carolina. South Carolina oh. was under was undefeated. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and yeah, that's good for them, man. That's good for the women's. It's good for South Carolina. It's good for UConn men. It was a blowout. Purdue, Purdue. Who, 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 yeah. Wait, what was the blowout? Blowout. It was sixty to seventy-five. For who? Purdue had sixty. Yeah, Purdue's always choking, man. That's what they do. They got bounced in the first round uh, a few years ago. They um, blew the game in uh, last season to Northwestern. They were by a, bit, a bunch of points. They lost the game earlier this year by a bunch of points, and they finally get to the, get to the top, and they just don't get it done. That's Purdue. What hurt it? They only made uh, one three point in the whole game. Exactly my point. You're right. They choke. That's all they do, man. It is what it is, man. Um, I don't have much so, to say about this AD thing, huh? I was just, I was just, I was just uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, choke it up. I only, I only brought it up to because AD got smacked in the face again. But, uh, Kyle Anderson hit him dead in the top. It just feels like AD has the worst luck. It's just, it's, it's annoying because it's every single. This he's like the only player. That in the, in the league, there's always, and he's an, he's an integral piece too. He's always just everything is happening to him. Kyrie's able to stay healthy this year. You know that, right? I mean, Ky speaking of Kyrie, I'm yeah. sorry, I don't mean to mention about Kyrie. Kyrie, shout out to Kyrie, man. He had 48 points against the Rockets, bro. Man, he's scoring any which way you want it. What, what do you Here's want? Take, Texas, I, I wish you had brought this up as well. What makes Kyrie staying healthy? The, the most impressive over AD anybody else in the league. This man blew his knee out in mm -hmm. 2015 finals. Yeah. He's playing. Like, he's playing like he never had a, a knee injury ever. Yep. It's crazy. Kai, Kai, he's actually. Mm -hmm, he's actually jumping and catching lobs here and there. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean the West. The West is a little interesting. Um. We said that, like I said before, I said weeks ago, I thought the Mavericks are going to play the, uh, the uh, Clippers. I think the Mavericks are going to go ahead and take care of the Clippers this time around. That set, that four and five matchup is a guarantee. Um, the, outside of that, everything else is up for grabs. I mean, between six and ten, that's up for grabs. But there's only like four games left to play. Um, I, like I said, I'm fascinated to see what the Mavericks are going to do because I'm a big fan of Kyrie. That's the that's the biggest reason why I want to see the Mavericks what they can do because of Kyrie. Um, I'm not, I'm not a big Luca fan, even though he 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 make it the MVP, right? I mean, he'll get the scoring title. Um, I don't see how you don't give it to Luca as the uh, MVP this season though, because I'm not a hater. If a dude is doing his job, he's doing he's showing out. I want to give him credit. Um, yeah, I don't know. Mike, how many games y'all get left? Four. Four, I okay. Think. I think. I guess Mike is texting somewhere. I don't know. No, they got three. Three. Okay, we got five. Wait, well, I got four, I believe. You got four games left. You're 43 and 35, I believe, right? Yeah. yeah. The Lakers are going to play the Warriors. I mean, I've been saying this since for the longest. I mean, the league wants this, y'all. Come on, man. It's, it's, some of this is it's obvious, bro. Like, I knew I knew the Warriors were not going to lose their, uh, their, their – like, people said, I mean, Houston and everything. Man, the league is the league doesn't even want that, man. I mean, they, they, they rather – they want to see LeBron run into Curry one more time at least because at the end of their careers and stuff, like, come on, man. It's obvious. Exactly. 
I mean, come on. I'm telling you right now. Be, get strapped in. The Lakers are going to play the Warriors in the bubble. It's going to happen. So all people, everybody's arguing, oh, oh my God, oh, my God. We got to get this seed, man. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's not going to happen. I mean, I'm just telling people, right? I mean, you're getting, you're getting amped up for no reason. This is going to happen. As it stands right now, Minnesota would, would face the eighth seed, whoever wins between, uh, I guess, the winner. I don't know. And then um, Denver, as it stands right now, will face the seventh seed. I think, well, mm, I don't know. Well, whatever. Yeah, Denver's a two seed, right? Or third? Yeah, they're a two seed. Yeah. How's it going, Manimal? Up for grab. Huh? One, two, and three is dinner the same. Yep. It's like a game. The only set teams are the Clippers and the Mavericks. That's going to happen. And then the Lakers are going to play the Warriors. I'm, I'm telling you, I've, I've been saying it for maybe a few weeks. And I've, I've been and I've been believing the Clippers are going to play the Mavericks. Mavericks are going to beat them. And then the Warriors are going to probably beat the uh, – I'm sorry, the Lakers are going to beat the Warriors. Sorry, man. I'm just telling telling you what I believe. Um, I don't know who the heck's going to get the number one seed. It's going to be between Minnesota and Denver. I don't see OKC getting the seed, the top seed. Maybe they can just win out and then somebody, two teams drop, but. It's probably going to be Phoenix and OKC. I think Phoenix can win that series, maybe. I, I, I think they can. Phoenix against who? Uh, Denver? No, OKC. Heck, no, nah, not Denver. OKC. I think they can win that series. They might get, OKC might get swept. Because I, I just don't see where old people see an OKC, man. I mean, they, they're, they're so young. That's the problem. <laughs> they too young. And the, the Suns are not terrible in the paint, you know, with um, – What's the Nurkic? Nurkic. I mean, he yep. he's not shabby, but then the Suns. He's three hundred he, he pounds. Who gonna guard him? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, I think the Suns they play a lot of ISO ball, but I I, I think that that will work against them. Now the Thunder do move the ball more. I just don't have a hard time if, if the Suns are healthy and not thinking that they're – Devin Booker, are you serious? I mean, I just don't see them losing that series against a bunch of youngins. And, I don't know. He's going to try to ball against OKC. His own exactly. team. Yep. I don't see that happening, man. Um. Yeah, Mavericks win. Mm. Get a, a Mavs pretty solid, man. The, the, the damn Bucks in Boston looking like frauds. Both of them teams. And the Magic might come. They might take the number two spot. The Magic make the playoffs. They're, they're getting swept. They already in the playoffs. Huh? The Magic's already in the playoffs. They getting swept. It's crazy. They're number three seed. <laughs> yeah, they might take the number two seed. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy how, man, like, they, they, they're they like Michael Myers. I mean, I didn't just just slowly doing their thing. This just tells you how weak the East is. The fact that yeah, Magic is seed with a bunch of nobodies, this, this, this is all you got to know about the, about the East. They'll get beaten by, I mean. They'll get swept. If they run to the Sixers in, this, in uh, the first round, when they're whoever, I don't know. They, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they will play. If, 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 if uh, the, the uh, tournament plays out that way, Sixers will beat the crap out of the Magic. <laughs> is it, is LB back? Is he? 
Is he back here? Because he didn't play the last game. Who did? He's getting back in the rhythm. It'll be, he didn't play the last game. They're, they're playing in the playoffs. Yeah. I think they'll smack, they should smack the Magic. They'll probably beat him in five games, though. They, 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 can beat, they, don't, the they don't need to be, they don't need to be that series, to, to me. They could beat the Magic without and be. That might just sound blasphemous, but I'm just saying. If they get the AC, then they they be, pl- they be playing your, your the Boston. Boston is fool's gold. Well, I think I think they could be Boston too. Who Magic or Philly? Philly. Not without a beat. They ain't been they ain't been uh Boston out without a beat. If 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 a beat don't play, they get swept by by the Boston. KP gonna have a field day if a beat don't play. KP gonna have like thirty and fucking ten on that ass. What the fuck is Magic gonna do by himself with 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 the fucking Boston team? But you know how Boston is. Boston is the no. choking about Boston. Boston. Nah, they're not gonna lose to the Sixers without their best player. Hell no. The Celtics will sweep them. Yeah, exactly. Boston gonna sweep them niggas, and Boston always play 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 decent in the first round. Yeah. Boston will sweep them niggas because once you stop Maxi, who else? Who else do they have? Do I trust the Bob Harris? Nope. Do I trust the other niggas on the team? No. Once you once you cut off Max here, they getting swept. Straight like that. Stop playing, Fambo. No one beats you getting swept. And I ain't talking about no small ass broom. Hmm. I don't believe it. I don't believe in the I don't believe it. Look, I think the Heat can sneak in sneak into the finals again, bro. If the Heat get healthy, bro, bro, I I I I have a feeling the Heat can try to sneak into the final, bro. The Heat always play well at, 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 at the right time, so I can't I can't count the Heat out. The Heat that the Heat that kind of team. They might sneak in that motherfucker and go back to the final again. Yeah. You see what they did last year with the G League team they had. Yep, I ain't gonna lie. If Eric's supposed to make the finals again. They gotta put him. They, well, he 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 guarantee a Hall of Fame a spot. They gotta guarantee that shit. He 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 should already have it now. But I'm saying, if they go to finals again, that's only gonna make his case that much stronger. It's already strong as hell already. He doing this without a team. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm no, saying. Right. He have no shot to go to the finals, and you can. It's gonna be, I think, the Celtics and the Lakers. I I, I believe that. And if the Celtics don't make it, it'll be the Bucks. The Heat have no chance in anywhere to make it to the finals this year. You, we you, said that last year. You just got a pipe dream. No, Mark, Mark, you you want to make that bet right now? Put a thousand. I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make that bet because they weren't supposed to make it last year, but they well, did. I'm telling you right now that I don't have them making it this year, and that's a fact. <laughs> and I'm willing to put a thousand on it if you want to. I'm not doors. <laughs> I'm or not TJ. Doors. Or TJ. <laughs> or Brian. I ain't even going to entertain this bet. 
Hell no. Mike. Huh? I thought you was a gambler. I'm not doors, dude. I gamble, but not like doors. Doors is the worst gambler to ever grace a panel. I gamble, but not like doors. Hell no. This man put 250 on the fucking magic. That is the worst bet in the history of bets. Hey, hey, hey better a hey, a hey, hey, family Texas. He better on the magic like they had Prime Dwight Howard and fucking uh Turk Lou and Rashard Lewis on the fucking team. That nigga better on the magic like that like they had the, the 2009 roster. He, he, you know why he might have made that bet? Cause because Trey Young wasn't playing. No, I'm not. No, I'm. I'm. I'm not talking about the Hawks. I'm talking about he. He. He put two fifty on the on the Magic, like they had the roster from two thousand and nine. Remember the roster yeah. they had? In oh, yeah. They had Charles Lewis Turgul. They had uh, Matt Barnes. They had Reddick. They had um, Dwight Howard. They had um, uh, who else? They have um, uh, Jameer Nelson. Yeah. He better, he better, he better as if they had that roster. Hell no. And everybody yeah, forgets that Magic team was good. They had three All Stars that year, and LeBron averaged thirty eight, I think, in like eight, and he was efficient. People, see, people they, they won't tell you the story. How, how did LeBron lose to the Magic? Well, I, I've already explained. I told, I was telling Lingo Jester how how there was no space. Because what they did was is that they um, they clamped down on everybody else around LeBron. And LeBron was forced to have to do everything on his own. That, that's what happened. And then when the shooters got open shot, Delonte West, all these guys, they started to brick. And but LeBron did his thing. That's what I'm saying. People, see, I go after LeBron when it's time to go after LeBron. But they just want to go after LeBron because they just hate the man. I don't know how grown men hate another another person. It, it just makes no sense, especially at a certain age. But LeBron was phenomenal that, that that series. He had no help. They won't tell you that though. You yeah. know, all his guys play like uh, chumps because they want to go that route. Listen, I hate to do it, but like with Kobe, when you guys fell by the Dallas Mavericks, you had help. You were the I think you were the, you were the favorite going into that series. How did that happen? Oh, they did. But don't bring that up though. See, I, I told people I'm fair. Like LeBron to me is not a leader, not not a real leader. But but um, but you know, I just defend whoever I think it needs to be defended. I don't I, I I don't I don't ride these dudes like a lot of dudes claim that that I do. If a dude deserves criticism, then I will criticize him. Facts. That's big facts. Yep, Kobe Bryant did this well. Yep. I watched that whole series. We didn't even get it. We didn't even get one game. Couldn't even get a game. Boy, I tell you. I lost I lost five hundred bucks that year. I lost five hundred bucks that year, man. That was that was that was disgusting. It must have been double if they got swept. Gasol didn't do nothing. The whole team didn't do nothing. I mean, Dirt and Whiskey was having his way with the fucking Lakers. That nigga Dirt and Whiskey, bro, he was he was sticking his tongue out and every fucking thing. Like he was in jail or some shit. Dirt and Whiskey was cutting up that year. Boy, I tell you, he was cutting the fuck up. I used to always hit on Dirt and Whiskey, but after, after after that year, I had to give Dirt mad respect after that year. The way that he did the Lakers and the way that he did LeBron in 2011, but that dude Dirt and Whiskey earned, earned my respect. That nigga acted a whole fool. Him, J. Kid, Terry, who else they fucking had? Sean Marion. Uh, they had a bunch of niggas just acting up. They came to play. They came to motherfucker play.
That nigga, their jump shot was bread and butter, fanboy. That shit was bread and butter. Dirt couldn't even fucking miss. Shit pissed me off. That man could miss for shit. Everything he put up was going in. I'm like, man. If the ones look like it would be a miss, it still was going in. <laughs> even the one you think gonna miss, it kept dropping in. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> then, then they had the shooters bounce for real, for real. Yeah, bro, that man had to shoot his bounce on fucking on fucking lock. She kept bouncing around the rim and shit falling in. What the hell? I mean, there ain't better no Tim Duncan. There ain't close to Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan played both sides of the ball. There can't fucking no Tim Duncan. Don't do that shit. There can never fuck with Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan averaged more rebounds. Tim Duncan was a better rebounder. He was a better defender, a better screen setter. Damn near just as good enough of a score. Tim Duncan had the all-around package. Darius yeah. is just a better shooter. Yeah, that's about it. And a better free throw. Well, that's still shooting. Yeah, he's just yeah. a better shooter. Yeah. But ain't nobody any right mind family gonna take him over Tim Duncan. All time? Hell no. Not even Carmelo. Carmelo ain't even better than Tim Duncan. To me, Fambo, I think Tim Duncan is the best power forward to play basketball. I think I, I, I actually believe in my mind that Tim Duncan is the best power forward to ever touch a basketball. Nigga might say I'm crazy for that. Tim Duncan got locked up by Shane Better in game seven in the clutch. Man, Shane Better ain't a well, he had one good game. Wow. Ooh. Every player got locked up at least one time in their career. In the clutch? Look. LeBron got locked up by by uh JJ JJ J- J- Barea. Curry got locked up by Kevin Love. Fucking Dwayne Wade got fucking blocked by fucking Tim Duncan. <coughs> Kobe Bryant got locked up by uh Ray John Rondo in game seven. The man had 14 points. You, you can go down the whole list. Uh, what's his name? Tony. Uh, what's that? Tony Allen? Tony Tony Allen locked up a lot of niggas. Bro, that's, that's not even fair. He locked up Stephen Curry. Curry, Kobe. Tony Kyrie is like the, Kyrie's the closest thing that I can say that, I mean, he's gotten locked up. The only time I saw Kyrie get locked up, I guess, was against the Celtics two years ago. But but he was in it was Ramadan, you know, for his religion. Like his body was weak, you know what I'm saying? Because like he was fasting and not eating really. That's the but Kyrie is the closest thing that I can say to an athlete. If you want to use that, that I've never I've never seen him just get this shut down. I can't I can't recall a time like in a series where he just got shut down. Yeah, true. I mean Curry got shut down again uh against Golden State. Would Jamal Green block the shot? No, but he know, man. That's, that's, that's just one play. I'm talking about where he just was just a non he was just like LeBron, like LeBron just taken out of a game. I I've just never seen that. I'm being honest with you, like out of a series. He got shut down against he got shut down against Indiana because remember, remember to that same that same series they benched LeBron and Kevin Love and the and the Cavaliers came back from thirty without Love and without Curry on the floor. 
Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But he. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably the closest thing. That's the I closest. Do. That's the closest. Was that 2017 or was that year? I forgot what year that was. I think. I think it was 2017. It was against. It was against Indiana. Oh, was LeBron it James eventually, no, 20, yeah, it was 2015. He benched Love and Kyrie, and LeBron let 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 a 30 0 comeback. It was down 30. They came back and won the game. It was in Indiana. That was 2017 because they didn't play Indiana in 2015. They played Boston first, and then they played the Bulls in the second round, and they played um, the third round. Who did they play in the third round? Oh, goodness. Oh, God dang it. Who did they play in the third round? Because that was 2013, y'all are talking about. It was Raptors, I think. Young Go said Kyrie got shut down in 2019 against the Bucks. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Celtics, Celtics, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, we did get shut down because Giannis kept punting and shit. Well, yeah, everybody has their moments, but Ky- Kyrie's like one of the few players that I've seen just get shut down. Like, like, like where you or you could just shut him down. The real you know question is, the what? real question who who have not been shut down? Yeah, nobody. <laughs> James Harden shut him down. Oh, James Harden yeah. shut, got shut down against the Spurs. But see, James Harden, like they I think by the time the second round got there, he was already worn out. But he didn't he didn't take care of his body the best because when they played the Spurs in twenty seventeen. I remember the elimination game. He had like ten points against the Spurs. Like he he was already worn out because he was he was like one of the highest usage rates guys and with the Houston Rockets. Yeah, like the offense was literally all because of James Harden until Chris Paul got there. Then they had the shooters, Anderson, uh, of course Trevor Ariza. I, I think he was still there. They had, uh, of course, a Gordon. They had, uh, who's a light skinned uh, Jeff, uh, Gerald Green. Yep. I know the Cats played the Pacers in the 2017 playoffs for a fact, I believe. Yeah. I'm trying to see where they played in the third round in 2015. I forgot who they played. That was the Hawks. It was the Hawks. It was the Hawks. Yep, it was the Hawks. I remember. Yeah, yep, yep. I didn't look it up. It was the Hawks. It was the Hawks. I remember that. I remember that series. Huh? The overrated ass Hawks. They kept winning sixty fucking games just to get their ass stomped on, curb stomped. So yeah, you're talking about the 2017 playoffs, then, because they played the Pacers in 2017. I I believe because I I know the Pacers. Yeah. You don't remember the game, Texas, where they where they benched Love and Kyrie, and and, they, and the Cavs yeah. came back from thirty. Yeah, I think that was against the, the Pacers. I think. Well, that that was in Indiana. It was, it was, it was playing the game in Indiana because LeBron, Le, LeBron, Kyle Culver, and Jr. led that comeback because LeBron kept driving and throwing the ball to Jr. and Culver, and they were the ones that hit big threes while while Kyrie and Love was on the bench. It's on YouTube. Yep, the Pacers when they had Horford, Millsap, Jeff T. Corbin. No, no, no. Who the Pacers had a year when they let that come back? I could have swore they had Lance Stevenson. And yeah, Jeff, Jeff, like Jeff T. Yeah, Jeff T. Was like in, in Atlanta, and it went around the twenty. Well, I think he, or twenty fifteen was he was in Atlanta. But 2017, I forgot. I don't know. I forgot who they had. Paul George was. Paul George was still there. That was that was a 2016 season. Were you Dallas Trade? Huh? Were you Dallas Trade Trey Young? What year did who? That was traded Trey Young. That was uh, when Luca. That was a uh, what twenty was it? The twenty nineteen year. Oh, nineteen. Okay. I think yeah, that was, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, because him and Luca were rookies. Ah. 
Yep, they had Miles Turner, Lance. Yep. I still can't believe that team made the All Star team. That's crazy. I just know that Milwaukee uh, beat the Raptors in the first round <laughs> in 2017. Because I know LeBron played the Pacers in 2018. That, that was the first round. That's when they had, of course, Oladipo. They did play uh, the year that LeBron played against the Pacers one year. Yeah, they did hit Olin Depot. Yeah, that was the first round. I was kind of concerned for LeBron for a minute. I was like, uh-oh. I remember LeBron didn't, had a block, but that was that was a goal 10, huh? Didn't LeBron get hurt and had to exit the game and almost and that was in game seven, right? I forgot, honestly. Yeah, it was game seven. Yes, it was game seven in Cleveland. LeBron James exited the game. It was like late in the fourth quarter. He exited the game. And Kevin Love made two big threes to put them up by six. Love hit two big shots. I'm talking big time shots. Because when LeBron exited the game in game seven, late in that yeah. fourth quarter, everybody thought the game was over for the Cavs. But Kevin Love stepped up. Mm-hmm. I was watching that game. That's when LeBron came back in, go to the fuck out of Olin Depot shot. Yeah, he go to the crap out of him. I was like, oh my goodness. They were like, even the content was like, that was a gold 10. Rip and oh, Depot was crazy back in the year, that 2017 season. I was like, who, who is this, Ola Depot? He was, like, he was like a bona fide star. <laughs> oh, yeah. The way he was hooping? Shit. Yeah, Pagan, get, a, get off your uh, uh, smoking clouds because I, I only mentioned Jeff T one time. When he played for the Hawks. Jeff T was giving D. Rose the business though, like in twenty eleven playoffs. Now D. Rose gave gave him more, you know, he 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 still did his thing, but Jeff T was showing out against D. Rose in 2011, 2011 playoffs. <sighs> I wasn't a fan of Oladie Bo when he played for the Thunder. Yeah, he didn't look too sharp. No, nah, I didn't like him there. I didn't like him there at all. Everybody forgets that Dennis Schroeder played for the uh, Thunder, too. Uh, probably like right in the middle.
Ja. Who was the most overrated team in the 2010s? Uh, OKC. OKC was overrated in 2010. Hey, Fambo, are you ready for this L today, bro? You got ready for this L. What you mean by that? It's, it's over for AD. You really think you got a shot against us? You ready to hold this L, man? You ready to hold it. We're going to whoop y'all ass, nigga. We're going to beat y'all niggas down. LeBron still had a hangover? Nope. LeBron going to come back sober. He been drinking? Nope. We told LeBron no red wine before the game. He said he was drinking two bottles before he go to bed. Hell no. <laughs> he said he had to have a nightcap. Nightcap? Yeah.
Damn. <laughs> you know how you do it. I see LeBron can't play defense. Yeah. I see LeBron be playing bad defense and shit. He be having a nightcap. He be kind of alcoholic. But, but the thing about LeBron is that he does stay in great shape. A lot of people that drink alcohol, they get all fat and shit. LeBron not getting fat with his shit. Yeah, like sports alcohol is different than street alcoholics. What's the difference? The street ones... They don't work out or nothing. They just go to work, then come home and drink. Like the sports entertainment ones, they work out, and then before they go to bed, they have their nightcap. But sometimes that one, that one nightcap turns into three or four nightcaps. But when they be too fucked up, they just say they hit the flu. Damn. Because <laughs> the NBA won't know they've been drinking. They just told it they got that flu. That's insane. You know how you know how it is when you get when you get that real money. And you get that bread, she can do what you want. You read Peck and comment what he said about you? I don't do the nightcap. I do the broccoli. I heard that, Fambo. I must say he do the broccoli.
and they ain't talking about the broccoli from Walmart. I can't wait to beat your Warriors today, man. We're going to whoop y'all ass. We're going to hold Clay and Curry to two points. Yeah. We can hold LeBron and AD to zero points. And GM Fitness does pads? No. I don't do the motherfucking pads, nigga. Hop on, Peggy. Don't be scared. Don't do, don't don't be a J Cole. Pagan, definitely that. Yeah. You still near Texas? Yeah. Did your Rangers win today? No, the Rangers, they didn't win, you know. Mm -hmm. Mike, you, should, you, should, you should see what's his name is going to is going to come on, huh? Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. I said they both playing each other. The Astros, yeah, the Astros are not going to be that good this year. Yeah, I've, I've hit him up a couple times. <laughs> he was actually on here two days ago. He was on home. Huh. I'm trying to see. Well, Summer, I already had the Yankees playing the Rangers in the ALCS anyway. I, and you can ask me random. He's a fan, too. I said that at the beginning before the year started. The Yankees and the Rangers, and I think the Yankees might make the World Series. Nobody see, nobody saw that. Even Random said I was crazy. Or he didn't say I was crazy, but he was like, "Well, you get a, you get quite a bit of your picks right." But um, are you, are you are you like are you being sarcastic? Nope. The Yankees are off to a hot start so far. Who you got the National League? This one is obvious because this. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna take a, a chance with the Dodgers. I mean, that's pretty obvious. I mean, so that so that it doesn't take a genius to 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 see that. Nobody thinks the Yankees before the year had a ch shot. Come on now, because they're bringing back virtually the same roster with with the exception of a few maybe bullpen pieces and Soto. But come on now, they were they were uh, I think barely above or under 500 last year. Nobody had that team. <laughs> Going, going as far as I think that they'll go. Even Yankee fans will probably tell me in New York, "Oh, you're crazy! Ah, right, get out of here! You're crazy, mother effer." Beast boy, I don't think the, I don't think the Dodgers are going to the World Series. I got, I, I have them probably. I mean, it's early though, man, but um. I don't know. I think the Yankees and Dodgers, that, that'll be a great series for rating, definitely. Um, I think the Cubs have a chance, too, though. We, we could see a 2016 rematch of the, of the NLCS. Uh, Dodgers like the, like the chip, like the Clippers. 
Ja, det er joke. Ja, han er Celtics. No, okay, so the, I got to give the Dodgers a little more. At least they won some. At least they won. The, the, the Dodgers at least they won in 2020. That's to, to, to backtrack there. The Celtics choke all the time. But they won before, too. But, but I'm saying this is a different type of Celtics team, though. Mm-hmm. This team got baby, baby Kobe and Jalen Brown, KP, Derek White, Pritchard. And I'm starting to wonder how likable J- uh, Jason Tatum is because, okay, I know Kyrie didn't really care to play with the Celtics. But also Terry Rose, you remember Terry Rozier didn't like playing with him. Remember that? Terry Rozier didn't like being in Boston. I ain't gonna lie, Terry Rozier ain't been shit since he left Boston. That's a fact. Then the game been nothing since Boston. That's true. <laughs> but a team hopper and a team jumper. His whole career been down since. <laughs> I used to I used to hear about scary Terry. Now I hear about disappear Terry. Brick Terry. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Uh. You a Dodger fan before you? No, you're a Yankee fan. Oh, okay. I thought he was a Dodger. Is the Diamondback upset the Dodgers again? Huh? Is the Diamondback upset the Dodgers again? No. I heard the Chiefs were trying to look at J.K. Dobbins. <laughs> he's from Texas too, man. Y'all don't need no more quarterbacks. No, he's a running back. Oh, <laughs> fuck. They did sign Carson Wentz. Nobody heard that. Nobody heard that. Yeah. They heard it. I'm going to edit that part out, out of the lives. I'm editing that part out. They did sign Carson Wentz but um, to a one-year deal, but uh, who cares? I mean, I like Carson Wentz's beliefs. He's, he claims it, what his belief system, but uh, outside of that, he's, he's, a, he's pretty bad. Mike, you, you can edit all you want. We already recorded it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Whoever record that shit, whoever record that shit, I'm gonna Yo, take. The uh, right uh, now. I'm gonna file a copyright claim on, on your account. I wonder what AC is getting. Into, sorry, getting into some late night trouble. Doris, Doris got to pay me that two hundred tomorrow. Oh, you're going to pay tomorrow? Yeah, you're supposed to pay me at 200 tomorrow. Yo, to me. I've been waiting over a week. You say you got to come and get it like Tyson. Man, if, if, I, if I knew where Doris stay, I'd just pull up. See, down here in Texas, Texas, fanboys should know too. If you owe somebody money and they know where you stay, 
They gonna pull the fuck up. I already told them, Pagan. <laughs> he's he's like, you, you just hurt me. <laughs> if the Chiefs get Dobbins with Pacheco, uh, unless they're talking about trying to get rid of Pacheco for that, I don't know though. Now if they're getting rid of Pacheco. I mean, because uh, I don't know if the, I have no idea. Um, I wouldn't trade Pacheco. If anything, you want to add that with Pacheco. Yeah, I don't know the details of that situation. I mean, if you can add him with Pacheco, my goodness, oof! And then you already have all all that talent and and trying to get open. Oh man, man, that defense. Whoosh. But I'm not ready for the NFL. I mean, that's just too early. But to give up some, you might have to give up somebody too to get to. Y'all no quarter- don't have no quarterback. Fuck y'all. Who the, the Raiders? Yeah, they got no quarterback. Yeah, that's true. What's What's the point of adding people to the team when Devontae Adams said himself he don't like playing for the Raiders? If Devontae don't want to play for the Raiders, what make you think anybody else, anybody else do? Yeah. See, because I, 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 I thought the Chiefs should have tried to go after OBJ personally because I don't see a need for another running back. They just signed Clyde Edwards Hilaire. I'm not saying he's good. I'm just saying they signed him for a one year deal. I think the running game, they're fine. Because, you know, Mahomes was never, he doesn't need a great running game. But Checo's solid. I mean, he doesn't, he, he needs a respectable enough running game to where you have to, you know, be prepared for that and game, at least prepare for it. And then, but he, his thing is weapons. So if you get OBJ from Mahomes with everything else, to me that was a smarter move. I would have given I would have given OBJ seven million and and be done with it. You take it or leave it, brother, because you're not going to get much more. And you and you as opposed to going to Miami, which he's talking to Miami, unless he signed. Just then I didn't hear about it. I mean, but why would you go to Miami to get paid the same? To, to, you, do you want to win another ring, OBJ? Because if OBJ wins a second ring, I mean, is there a possibility he can, he can get into the Hall of Fame? I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying he would, but I don't know, OBJ. I mean, he already has the stats. He, he just needs the rings. Well, he has one, but yeah. One ain't good enough. He need at least I two. Agree. But some people get in the Hall of Fame with no rings. Yeah, but yeah, but OBJ's situation is different from the, the guy you're talking about. And his stats, his stats aren't, aren't that great because he had he's he's had a lot of injuries. Week two against the uh, I think who was that against? Was it against the Jaguars or somebody? Week two in 2017, he snapped his stuff and he was out. 2018, he had a decent year, but he was still battling injury. 2019, same thing, battling injury. 2020, he got hurt early in the year. I want to say that was against the was it against Ravens. I forgot who that was against. And then 2021, he missed a lot of he missed a lot of that year. I think, and then he went over to play with the Rams and they won a championship. 2022, what happened? Or what was he? He was out of the league, right? Yeah, 2022, wasn't he? I, wasn't he out of the league? I don't even know. Um, and then last year, he didn't do much in, in, with, with the Ravens. So he's he's got a lot of career that he's missed.
Hey, Fambo, man. The Raiders are dumb, bro. You hear what I said, Fambo? I'm still here. Hey, Fambo, how does it feel to have you ready, you ready to be done, bro? How does it feel, bro? We bouncing back. Bouncing back with what? No quarterback? Is that what you're bouncing back with? We had one before the season. Yeah, 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 y'all gonna have another bum at the QB What's position? Up? Yeah, should have went after Kirk Cousins, to be honest. They weren't fit to give, give him that what he wanted. Why not? You ain't had a quarterback in how long? You don't know how long he can stay healthy. Wait for who? Who? I'm saying I, I'm saying if I was ready, I don't I don't want to have to Kirk. I mean Kirk Cousin has a has a history of being pretty healthy. I'd have went after him if I was a Raider. Hold on. Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins, Texas is better than anybody the Raiders have right now. I mean, why not? I would have tried to get Sam Howell two follows the Raiders. I would have called Sam Howell ass. For real. Not having a quarterback is y'all is y'all's downfall. Yeah, I don't know. AC's probably doing some some crazy things right now. Yeah, it's not new with AC. AC's always trying to uh JK off, man. Watching uh what what watching uh his dog poop. He probably AC. did do, he probably did do some like some things with that snow bunny. Like infamous said, man, you really believe come on. But that's that's his business though. That's his business. Man, you, you know he smashed that snow bunny. That's why he bought her McDonald's. Bro, stop it. It did. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make any sense, man. Any man that bring a chick food, it's always <clears throat> something that to go with it. Especially at that time of not come on, man. You think I'm dumb? It's never, it's never just the food. Now, I don't judge him for it because you because you can always turn the turn their back the right way, but it's it's um come on, man. 
It's not. It's not believable. It doesn't make any sense why why I'm, I'm gonna go here and just to drop this off and not get anything in return. I'm just saying for the average man, like I I, I, I know he made a comment saying you know or you could just drop off a girl Mickey D's and and delete her number. Yeah, sure, buddy. <laughs> sure, pal. Oh, 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 you mean yeah, drop the cookies off and then you know get something and then delete a number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ain't no man doing that. I wouldn't waste my time dropping off cookies because then I'm going to be temp tempted to try to do something. And I'm not getting ready to do that. Man, take, you know, get away. You don't, you don't want to do that. That's why I said. That's why I wouldn't even. I'm not even going to a woman's house early in the morning, this time in the morning, because I know, like they say, nothing good happens when the sun goes down. So, nope, robberies happen, houses get broken into. The boogie woogie can happen, and for, for me right now, that's not what I'm trying to do. I mean, I want to. Like I said, there's no guarantee that I don't do it one, 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 one more time before I do get some, find something overseas, but I'm not even sure marriage is even uh, the, the right thing because it's like, I'm saying, I'm not sure if I want to do that just because you it's. You want to get married, Texas. The only reason why I want to get married is, like, like I said, because in order to to get active again, I'm gonna to have to do that. You you already know. I mean, it, it's stupid though, but um, it is what it is. And a lot of people don't have my restraint, man. Because a lot of people, yeah. Do you really want to get married, or you said what? Just make sure it's the right uh, one. Yeah. Fools goal. Fools goal. I mean, it was nah, to both of y'all. It's, it's it's hard to know who's the right one because, like, you could be with someone and man or woman. I mean, I'm saying if you're a woman, same thing. I mean, but man, we all know men rarely file for divorce because, like, the reason why because men have the most to lose. <laughs> so I mean, that's why I want, that's why the other side mm -hmm. file for divorce, huh? If, if you only want to get married because you want to do do, do the, the the horizontal boogie woogie, that's why a lot of pastors married. are married. Go ahead. I was saying probably shouldn't get married. But if, you, if, I, if you want if you want to get married for one thing, no. You probably here's the thing. Married. But here's the thing, though. The the word even says if you can't control yourself, then it's better to to get married than than to um go around doing that stuff. That's what that's what it said. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that. You know, a lot of a lot, a lot of even true men and women who 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 believe believe that's why they get married, man. Because you don't have to get married to build a family. You see what I'm saying? Because because you know you're marrying when you get married, you 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 you're introducing the government. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't have to you, you don't have to get married to build a family. Like, I, but 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 to uh but to have have intercourse, you you're going to need to get married. I'm telling you, pastors. That's why pastors get married. I, because if you're going to be getting doing that stuff, you need to be married. I'm telling you, because you don't have to be married. I don't need to be married outside of that to build a family. You see what I'm saying? So, so if you get married, it's going to be on paper or not? I'm. I have to see, man, because I don't know all the le the, the, the legal things. Because uh, if I can go overseas and then just. Well, it's gonna have to it's gonna have to be documented though. I mean, but I'm, I'm gonna have to go to like a pastor, an ordained minister to um, you know, to uh, officiate or make it official. But because I'm now, I, I said it, if 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 my S drive can just go away, I won't get. There's there's no point for me to even deal with the opposite gender at all. Because think about it. Yeah. But see exactly. But yeah, exactly. But um. Yeah, but it is what it is, man. That's a man's nature. A man's natural nature is to want it. And the thing is, the woman, the woman gets more pleasure than the man. That's what's crazy. Yeah. But even with that said, the man will always want it. Yeah. 
sometimes I feel like I have to be a robot because I mean, there's because I gotta put, keep putting my head down and I can't look at anything. That that's robotic, man. But it is what it is, man. This life wasn't promised to be this happy life. Now, if you now if you do find a good a good spouse or whatever, then then that's good. But how many how many truly find that? And another, another thing, that's why I wouldn't marry in this country because if you get married, but then like everything could be going fine, and then when, when y'all are like fifty, all of a sudden they say, you know what, I want a divorce. That most I, I know for a fact, most men in the back of their mind somewhere it might be small, but but they have that concern. What if, what if, what if they end up divorcing me? I'm telling you, and you're lying if you say you don't. Now, maybe if you're like 60 plus, like if y'all are already old, like, you know, if you're old, y'all are old and are older, then I think, I, I think you're pretty good. But like, like if you're still middle aged and stuff like that, man, there's still a chance that they pull the court. <laughs> I'm just keeping it a thousand. I'm not saying one side is wrong or not. I'm just saying the reality. Like as a man, especially if I married in America, I couldn't, I couldn't be comfortable at, at, at any night. Cause I know at any point they have the right to where they can just divorce. And like I said, nothing's going to happen bad to them. They'll probably get comp they'll get compensated for it. <laughs> like you see what I'm saying? Like divorcing a man is actually beneficial for a woman. Like it, it actually makes sense. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, so why would I do that in America when they'll actually come out better off? And that's why a lot of these dudes are not even marrying anymore. And I, I, I mean, because it's, it's no hatred. I just, I just don't want my assets to be taken. You know, I realized through Texas. I realized that men have way less stress when they when they single. Yeah, and, there, there, and there, there's a study saying that some studies say both things. They say that men live longer married than others, and then vice versa, married single men live longer. I think. I mean, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying it's on, it's on a person, and I think I think the people saying that married men live longer, I think that's I think that's a skewed thing to try to support some kind of agenda to be honest with you because i i've been single my entire life i have the only stress that i've had fanboy and mike has been because of me like my but if i don't make those decisions guess what the stress is not there <laughs> mm -hmm. like and, and another thing I, I would regret with getting married is that it's a song from ex ambassadors uh they're they're pretty popular they're a good group it's, just, it's called free and lonely the song pretty much is when before he got married, you know, he 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 would like reminisce on when he was by himself and he could, like, I don't know if I want to get married now, man, because I'm I'm willing to just forego and just forget about the boogie woogie because that's not enough. You see what I'm saying? Because I still want happiness. I want to be able to travel like like I want to. I don't want to be tied down to anything, man. So I might just um, go celebrate the rest of my life. I don't know, man, because like, think about it, fambo smashing. Okay, yeah, that's good in the moment, but then after you still gotta deal with that person and all everything that comes with it. You see what I'm saying? And then after a while, is it is it is it that enjoyable? I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. Being single to me is being is better than being in a relationship. No stress at all. Every relationship, every relationship that I've been in, it's always led to me being super stressed out. So being single, it's like I feel, I feel way more, I, I feel way more free and relieved at being single than when I was dating. That's what I'm saying, man. I start thinking about this stuff. Like, do I really want to get married? Because, yeah, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss the the, the fun activities, but then on top of that. After after a certain period of time, that stuff that stuff gets played out, and then, but then now if you with if you have a good companion, then it's a blessing. I, I've always said that. See, the word says if a man finds a wife, then that he that he finds a beautiful thing. I disagree, honestly. If he not just finding a wife, if you find a good wife, 
that then that's that's a that's a good thing to he who finds a good wife not here's, just not just a spouse yeah finding a good wife back then was easier than it is now yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to get married now, man. I, I've been thinking about it the last like week, man. Do I really want to do this? Because, like, I'm sacrificing my my free time. I'm sacrificing like my space that I had to myself. I'm telling you right now, man. That's why I play that song all the time, "Free and Lonely," because it's actually being single. There's nothing like it. Because I don't, have to, I don't have to share my space. I don't have to wait. I don't have to get into stupid. Because I don't, I don't like arguing. Believe it or not. So I don't have to waste my time just, you know, going, you know, about this or that. I'm just saying, man. Being free Texas, Texas, when I was when I was dating, bro, I was on I was having so much stress. It was crazy. But since since I've been single the last couple of weeks, bro, yeah. I feel way more energetic. It's like it's like my it's like my energy level has gone way up since being since going single. Crazy. That's say a whole lot, Texas. Whenever you're with somebody, and your energy level is dropping. Maybe you leave that person, your energy goes up. What does it, what does that say? It just says you're better off single. It's hard to find. And then, and then I noticed Texas. Most yeah. women nowadays, or uh, what is the world looking for? They're uh damn. I don't know what say taste, but most most women nowadays are not raised like you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, because they said half of the men allegedly they said it's a study that said half of the men. This is it's on a YouTube short, so I don't know how true it is. So don't take my word for it. Don't quote me. But they, this dude was telling this woman that half of the men in America by 2030 which is not far from now are going to either be just single or you know just st stop dating stop marrying or just go abroad so if allegedly right if that's the case man because you know somebody can say oh stop complaining i'm not complaining it's just see and a lot of men this, this is why i say men men are the reasons why they struggle because men and men allow it men anything that happens it goes back to the man honestly because men People don't do it unless you allow them to what the, them to get away with. So I hear a lot of men making fun of us, making making fun of that other man because of what he's going through. But until he, but once he goes through it, then you start to realize. That's why I said no, not many men are my friends because it's all cool if he if I'm going through. But once you go through it, now now you're like, oh my god, guys, help me, help me. See, you know. That's why I don't feel bad for them because I, I know Ti back in the day was 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 talking about believe all I won't say the rest, but then when allegations came upon him, guess what? He wanted people to back him. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You condemn these other men with no evidence, and you said believe the all. You don't ever believe anybody. I mean, all of anybody. And then when he went through it, now all of a sudden, oh, he wants pity. No, bro. That's the problem with men. They, they, you know, there's nothing wrong with having another man's back if he's in the right. Now, if he's in the wrong, then yeah, you don't support him. But see, that's why I said, and this is why men get butchered because, like, they're like, it's just like uh, being a, a, a lone wolf, right? You can't be a lone wolf. The other side, that's one thing I give women credit for. They will support each other. They hunt in packs, bro. And you're not going to beat anything going solo dolo. It doesn't work that way. That's why these men get devoured because like society has duped men into thinking that, oh, you must be sus because you support another man. No. Only weak men let other people, you know, um, get them to believe or manipulate their minds that what they're doing is wrong. And when they knew initially what they were doing was right. You're not a real man. You're a boy. So, I don't care if somebody calls me whatever you have to call me. I'm, I mean, if you, you, you know what I'm saying? So, that's that's why, man. And fine, finally, a lot of men are starting to speak up on things now. Finally. If, what took you so long? Because I'm not a macho man, but I think as a man, you, you, you speak up on things instead of being little boys and then being quiet and letting one side just domineer you. 
I told you, I can't respect any man that just allows somebody on the other side and just boss him around and then he's going to keep his mouth quiet. No, nah, bro. I don't respect that, bro. Like, you were put as a man on this place to actually be a king. And the woman was sent on here to be a queen. But here's the thing, though. You know how, see, this is how I knew we're in Jezebel times. Because biblically, and, and e even in war times, a man can be a king without having a queen. A queen couldn't, can't be a queen without, uh, without a king. But you hear a lot of them saying that they're a queen. I don't, I don't need this, which is fine. But both both people need each other, men, women. They both need each other. But you know, that's the, that's why I check out AC. I don't think I want any part of this marriage, bro. I think I'm just gonna just just try to just. I think I'm gonna take like some libido blockers, bro, to 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 kill my libido, bro. So, cause I, you know, AC, you there? Yep. Cause being lonely, I mean, sorry, free being single is actually the best way to go, bro. Cause I'm not gonna. Nah, I, 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 you're like, I like my happiness too much, man. I like my happiness too much. Yeah. The eclipse definitely happened, whatever they, whatever they did. Cause it was like, uh, it was like, what time was it? It was like midday. Three, three, three. And you thought not nah, well for what, where I'm at HC, it was, it was er a little bit earlier, but, uh, I thought it was like uh seven o'clock, man. I'm like, Whoa, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> why was it so dark out here? Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Is that is that where you live? Nah, uh, this is Mike's channel. Oh, Mike, uh, uh, this is Mike. Uh, okay, okay. The more you yeah, watch, the more you, the more you gonna see. AC must have gotten I'm done doing some bad activities, huh? <laughs> nah, I got done cutting some grapefruit. And some cantaloupe. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm back to eating healthy AC. Between January and like January and February, I was I, I say I, I was eating like B minus, like in terms of like scale of healthy. That's pretty solid. Now I got to amp it up and take it to a B plus, man. Yeah, the uh, month of I I would give my grade probably the same. My weakness is pizza. Pizza, yeah. My weakness is wings with a uh, blue cheese, boy. That's 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 man. That's terrible. You get the off laps. Uh, yeah, I, I like the flats, but I like also like the um. What do you call those? Drums. The drums, boy. <laughs> I, I like both of them. You get you a bunch of blue cheese, man. The thick kind, man. That that that's that's my worst enemy. <laughs> But I say, you know, I, I eat it with the salad. I'm like, I'm eating healthy, though, right? Yeah, whatever, man. Eating pounds of blue cheese. At least you got the salad. Exactly. Because you know, you know this, man, because you're the health guru here. Um, a food guru. Um, um, you know you know that lettuce is, like, the best thing you can eat. Like, just if you're going to tell somebody to get one healthy thing, lettuce, because it's antioxidants, but it also, like, scrapes the gunk in your intestinal walls. Yeah, that's the main thing. And it's fiber. It's, it's all that stuff in one. Like, that's the one thing I tell you. You know, if you want to eat healthy and you can only buy one thing, get the lettuce. Get, like, the green leafy lettuce. Yo, when I'm hungry and I uh, go around the city and I see just people in general, that keeps me in check because, yeah, you know, we all got our temptations, but majority got their stomachs going one way, their bodies going the other way. It's like a washing machine. So I'm like, they're happy, but their stomach is going crazy. So that keeps me in check. As soon as I step outside, my neighbor's fat as hell. Oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so, so Dude with a big hairy belly. So I'm like, that, that keeps me in check. Man, I would ask this question. Like, never mind. I, but now I'll say it on the floor. We are right. electrical beings. You know, yeah. we are made of electricity. So, if you simply just drink or eat stuff that has stuff in terms of like uh, fruit juice, it's time consuming because when you're hungry, you just want to grab a burger, you just want to grab fast food real quick or whatever. 
but if you're disciplined to prepare the night before or at least hours before you go to work or whatever you leave your house you should have like a water bottle of, of, of uh, fruit or diced apples or whatever that helps <coughs> to fight that, those temptations and when your stomach is yeah. growling it's not you being hungry that's actually your stomach digesting whatever apple eating ass confused Hell yeah, I got apples. Hey, Mike, I, I got the Granny Smith apples. Gr Gr Granny Smith. I've seen no that brand. Those, those are real sweet, huh? That's just sweet as hell. Well, I feed them, them, them apples to my uh, dog. <laughs> oh, dogs can eat that? Yep. <clears throat> Before I feed my... uh, I, I got to finish. Who, who's video? I, gotta, I can't just play just in, any video. Hey, you know what I like, HC? I like chicken pot pie, man. Oh, man, that, man, that, that used to be my go-to. My mom made a good chicken pot pie, man. I like, like, like just pot pie. Man, pot pie, you got that crust on the side. Oh, the dough. <laughs> Ooh, that's my favorite part right there. I like chicken and dumplings, too, for some reason. I don't know why. I just like soggy stuff, man. Off. Yeah, bro. Like I get like a peach cobbler. Just like AC, 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 soggy stuff too. It's called it's called the it's, it's called the snow the snow bunny Wu Tang. Now nah, AC like the their body hair is bad. Snow bunny Wu Tang. <laughs> AC, I was gonna say something very bad. <laughs> the snow, the snow bunny guys, huge chest. Man, I do. I'm man, a I do. Man. <laughs> I'm a chess man, Mike. I stuck on them things all night. Whoa! Hey, so you got me regretting that one snow bunny that I could have tagged back in. I probably could still tag her if I find her number, but I, I just can't do that, man. I mean, I want to, but it's just like, man, I just can't tag her. I don't, I don't know. She'll be interested anymore, to be honest with you, because it's been a long time. Man, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I was tempted tonight, but then I, I saw her number. I was like, oh, let me see what she got going on. Let me see what she the snow bunny uh snow bunny is a big two like now bro so, oh yeah they're evolving man the latinas the mix all of them like you don't just go like you know, now it's it's a free fall they, they were the spandex oh, okay all right man i got it <laughs> they're a training bra i'm gonna delete this conversation alone now they put, yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> they put on some flip-flops and they're back to the right man and then uh, if they have some glasses too, oh man. <laughs> You're the first thing I think of when a snow bunny has some glasses. He just stole my line, AC. He stole my line back to the right. Back to the right. He stole my line. <laughs> back to the right. Man, it's tough, man. Sometimes I just look, look at the floor. I, I can't. They be it's very tough. Head. They look dead at your ass, like. <laughs> it's it pissing me off too, the right, you know, because it's. Well, like, whatever, hey, hey, AC man, what? Hey, 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 AC, how come every time I go to the gym, it'd be bad. He's wearing the smallest shorts in these sports bras. How do I? How do I just go in there and just work out? How do I? How then, do I avoid just staring at this shit? Mike, this is Mike, you left out this. Their 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 knockers that that piece in the middle is piercing through their sports bra. It's crazy. That's just piercing through. They're sweating and shit. They busting squats in your face. They got their stomach pierced. They got their nipples pierced. Pierce. They got their nipples pierced. You like what? Seeing yeah, seeing right. white chicks try to get you because yeah, like everything all out showing white like, chicks try to get you. like it, it's just like that's what I'm saying that's why you can't look because I mean they they're trying to provide lust and stuff and because like they'll be wearing like those black spandex and in, in, in the middle of the sun AC you know what they're trying they they want you to actually see their skin and that's just that's why I I, I need to I stay away from them man because it's just. Uh, Hey, see, you gotta you gotta be a robot. If you're, if you're gonna be real with you, if, if you know what I'm saying, if if you're trying to follow the Most High, you have to almost be a robot because anything can hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because if you start looking, you start looking at their flesh. Their that's lust. Off as fuck. 
I'll be looking at their neck. I'll be like, God damn, I'm going to suck the shit out that shit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's that's crazy. AC yeah. sound like doors. <laughs> hey, <laughs> just can't be looking <laughs> sucking it at a motherfucker. <laughs> Your lips and shit, I'm like God damn. Damn, you everybody has a day, I guess. Everybody can have doors, like <laughs> man. They be looking good, especially they small back at you. Oh man, damn. So I, I just look at the floor. I can't, I like, I, I can't like, think I'm going to go to the gym. Hey, 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 AC in Texas, when I go to the gym, bro, I'll be seeing chicks wearing spandex tights. And you can see their bro. whole fucking leg, thigh, ASS. <laughs> I'll be like, damn. Bro, that's crazy, man. <laughs> well, I thirst trap some women, too, so I... <laughs> I don't even go to the gym no more. Going uh -huh. to the gym is they be squatting. They be trying to squat all next to you and shit. I'm like, you, I'm like what, are you, what are you squatting for? Wait, what did AC and just say? And these tiny ass spin decks. What did AC say? I said, I don't even go to the gym no more. Yeah, I don't go to the gym, bro. I don't. Go, honestly, I don't go where it's... It, like, you have to kind of be a robot. It sucks, man. It's a miserable way to live because, you know, I don't even go around females that much because because it's, because of this, because, you, yeah. like, people don't understand. Like, you, you know, AC, you know when it says the the road to upstairs is, is narrow, narrow that's what it meant. The narrow ass path. Yeah. And, you like, you told me how your ex-girlfriend, like, when you told her how you're living life of celibacy, she was like, okay, I'm out. I mean... Because, bro, it's very hard. You see what I'm saying? It's tough, man. And then guess what? You know, imagine how many young men and women who are married, right? And they're looking at somebody else like, man, I want to try that flavor. I'm just telling you. Man, I had a, a, a co-worker. She said, hey, it's the Eclipse. You trying to go out tonight? I said, nah. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I said, nah. And then I was thinking, what would happen? I go out, we take a couple sips of Kool-Aid. Next thing you know, we get touchy touchy. Next thing you know, who knows what happens next. Next thing you know, I'm spending money on the girl. You know, like, it's, it's, it's not just going out. It's, gonna, it's one thing leads to another. <laughs> so Yeah, man. Because a woman really is going to just ask her, do you want to go out with her if she has no interest? Now, there's some dudes who are friend zone. She, she has a freaking man. That don't mean anything, bro. Come on. Like these. No, it's disrespectful. How the hell you invite a, another man in? Because, I mean, I'm telling you, bro, we're living in that time, bro, where, see, nobody holds them accountable, you know, and so. Look, look, but yeah. this is, now what if the dude pulls up and, I, and I'm all ha having fun with this girl? And that's a gamble, too, AC, when you go to somebody's place, like, you just don't know, especially in this time, bro. It's just a bunch of trifling, Jezebel, evil stuff, bro. Because they know that they know that they're never going to be held accountable for 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 this stuff. It's only going to be you, and it's just it's just it's just sick. It's just my friend. Because <laughs> I always ask the because they always say, "What if that's somebody's baby girl?" But then I but then there was a story. It might have been in Houston, AC, where this boy just went over to this girl's house in high school, and the father just went ahead and you know, and it's just like, but and then she was crying like, "No, no, it wasn't." You see, but that's somebody's baby, baby boy, or you know, son. You know, we're always looking at it through one lens. Like I look at it through both lenses, and it's 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 sick. The country, not the world, the country that we live in, man. From that from that standpoint, now America's great opportunity, but it's sick, bro. It's really evil and sick. You know how how one sided we are, how jaded. You know what I'm saying? It's just sick. That's why I tell. This one chick said, do you want to get married? I said, probably not in this country. And then she was kind of offended. I'm like, no, I, I'm out, bro. I've seen enough. No, I don't want this stuff. That's like chocolate pudding. I hate chocolate pudding. I would never eat that. That's like, prune, that's like prune juice. I don't want prune juice. Yeah, it's just crazy because, you know, you, you don't want to pass away alone. You know, we're, I don't, we're bro. Hey, man. 
you don't hey bro so be it <laughs> bro because you gotta understand you got you gotta wait you gotta you gotta say this what's better getting pleasure from somebody and it's not a guarantee that it's going to be pleasant but then you're taking the gamble like i said marriage is a man's biggest gamble of his life of his life i didn't say anything, I said of his life yeah a woman can destroy your ass that's 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 what it's i mean i'm just saying because i don't want to go in on them but i just like yeah you're but yeah bro it's evil bro it's evil man and you could be living comfortable ac everything's going fine bro then guess what you then you y'all you hit 50 and then all of a sudden honey um I, they could they could stop they could they could just uh not have any more feelings for you that's how dangerous yeah. it is yeah, they could stop having feelings for you and then and this then then the, the love disappears and then guess what divorce but, but i'm just saying man. the complicated part they can stop but then you got your house you got to split right you got all your finances you got to split the finances is all 50 down the line so. that's the number one reason why divorce happens too mm. Mm. that's tough my my uncle he he almost got finessed because his woman was like peace out after 30 years she was like she she had a family in a louisiana the whole time after the, the whole 30 years she had a separate family but see he was smart he had his, his money separated in multiple banks so and you know these people no, no bread and these people say oh oh prenup prenup like cause that's how you know they don't I'm, i don't know much about the, the the marriage legal legality thing whatever but legal thing but bro prenups can expire from what i'm told and they can maneuver around it and throw it out man it's a, it's a it's a sticky and stuff situation because you know i feel like guys we love more than than a woman can I mean, a woman bro that's, uh, bro that's hold on hold on hold on it goes biblical the, the bible told you that the, you, you know how the bible told men to love their wives God, God, God told them that because He knew that they had it in them. But guess what? You know, you know, the Bible said it's it's an older woman's job to teach a younger woman how to love a man. Which what tells me is that they don't have natural love inside of them for a man. If somebody has to teach me to do something, that means that I wasn't a natural at it. It wasn't inside of me. The Bible told you that. The Bible told you that because if AC, if you got to teach me something on, on how to treat, if you AC. If you got to teach me how to respect the woman, right? And you got to really teach me how to respect and cherish a woman. That's because it's probably not in my immediate nature. So if we go to the other side where the Bible tells older women to teach younger women how to love their husbands, that's telling you right there that the, the love is not naturally in them for the, for, for their man on average. That's a fact. Yeah. I'll, I'll be damned if I have kids and, um, you know, think that I have a family and then, you know, but see, the thing is, the scary part is you can do all the preparation and you can, you know, study the female X amount of years. Next thing you know, she says, sorry, don't, don't love you no more. So I think it's just, uh, it's not ours, it's just our turn, that famous saying, like, she's not ours, it's just our, our turn. And, you know, just don't fully devote yourself into that that person. It's over, AC man. I'm sorry. It's over, bro. It's over, bro. It's it's it, it game's over, bro. Like at, at least in this country, because in other oh yeah, in this country and other like even in in, uh, in Africa, there's women that submissive. So it's just in this country, they don't really. Oh, if bro. You're submissive. If, if you're a woman, you're you're looked at as. Women. I was on this dating site, uh, well, because I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling, but but uh, there was nothing but Kenyan women that were hitting me up, man. And these are pretty women too, by the way. And they said, you know, all oh, well, a few of them were like, "I'm looking for, you know, trying to." Let me show you a clip real fast. Yeah. It's not copyright, Mike. I'm gonna show a real. You fast. said what? I'm gonna show a, a clip real fast of uh, this African woman, but it's not copyright. And AC. Oh, listen up. No, no, and no, you no, know, I can't play it because it's she's she's dancing, but I think it's too much for the screen. It, it's too much ass. <laughs> so, AC. 
And AC, you know who's mad whenever these dudes go abroad to find to find one. Mm, just you already know because I I think they genuinely don't like they genuinely don't like seeing a lot of men happy, bro. Uh, it's a competition. It goes down to Sigmund Freud. Uh, he said it that they they envy what uh, they envy what he has the anatomy. As well. Yeah, I, I I was in class when I found that out in college. That's crazy. <laughs> Instead of just knowing their place, they want to compete. So you got to put them in, in their place. It's our job to put them in their place. Nah, bro, I'm not. I'm not putting anything in their place. That doesn't. That, that, that doesn't. No, that's not my job. I don't believe that, bro. Just naturally by you providing, that's putting them in their place. You know? Because they can mm. do what they can do. What what you know? So putting them in their place. Then you should have told. I don't know. You should have told. <laughs> heck, you should have told. Uh, um, <laughs> A lot of these guys who provided, uh, you should have told what's his name that uh, Scotty Pippen, and then that he provided. What happened? What happened? That's bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, what happened? That's that's that, that's sinister, man. She went to. I told time. you, bro. That's evil, and you and and you went to hit. You went to do. You know he had beef with his son. You now his his son is wrong. You know my dad would talk about that, but still, bro. Like no, you you're fifty plus. You know what you're doing. And that's what I'm saying. That's just evil, bro. Like, there's no good in the person that's going to try to do that, man. That I, I'm telling people, bro. It's mm, it's evil, man. Because if I because if I go to a to to somebody where they knew that that chick had beef with, they're going to call me all kinds of crap. Ain't ish. Ain't ain't that. <laughs> Uh, that, that, that man, really man, AC ain't this, AC ain't that because you went to a buddy house. <laughs> so AC ain't shit. He went to a snowbody house and he ain't do shit, so he ain't shit. Hell yeah. I, I, hey, yo, I, I, I go to snowbody, I go to snowbody house, Texas. I'm putting the, I'm putting the BBC on her ass. Hey, to keep it what one hundred, I'm terrified of us. <laughs> I'm just saying, if if, if a, a, a C, if I go to a snowbunny hand, if I go to a snowbunny house, I'm putting the B you know B B, B you know <laughs> what on her ass, and I'm gonna pull out when I got to. You're not gonna be a a, a DJ and and say I ain't time. gonna go to her house with fucking cookies and say McDonald's time. No, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna have no down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have with a BB. You know what? I'm gonna give it to her. I'm gonna make her skin go red. Her skin go from white to red. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she gonna be the reading rainbow. I'm gonna smack her ass and every fucking thing. Yeah. The, the old me would have done that, but. Uh... The older me. I ain't going to no snow bunny house and I put it down. You gotta put it down, the chick, man. Fuck. Nah, because the spiritual ties and she has, she, she has on the house to talk on no man. Like, <laughs> she has uh, demons inside. You don't know how to pull out AC? You, you, that, you that scared? You forgot nah, how to pull out? You forgot how to pull out? Nah, when you interact with somebody, you have soul ties. So you can't just. Interact with just anybody. When you when, when you what? Whoever you encounter, when you have an interaction. What'd you say? Whenever you have an interaction, you have soul ties with that person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, you gotta you you gotta you, stick it in, put it down, and let them know I'm that nigga. Yeah. You if, know. When you're young, when you're younger and you're ignorant and you don't know. Any better, but when you know the knowledge of soul ties, all their you're, you're, you're young, AC. So what's the point? You're no, young, like, what's the eight. point? He's 38. No, no, no. AC's no, like 45. <laughs> I, I, I forgot to say, he's like 45, 48, mm -hmm. 50. Hey, a lot, uh, uh, a lot of these chickens got a lot of demons in them, bro. A lot of demons, and then look. 
Alder has history. It was is on a common once you put the once again once you given all chicks, bro. All the all chicks have demons until you, until you put it down on them. Once you put it down, all those demons are gonna be washed away. That's why I told you, um, AC. No, those demons they transfer to you. They multiply. They come back seven times stronger than what it says. You actually got to be careful who you give hugs. They to can only well. they, they can only multiply they can only multiply if if you if, if you don't put it down properly. If you put it down the right way, I'm telling you, this shit will not multiply. And then whoever it's that all about woman, how you put it down, man. But, but look, whoever that woman slept with, if that person has more bodies, their bodies is transferred to her and. And now it's, it's his bodies with her bodies all coming into you. So she has 100 bodies, and then the guy who she slept with has a thousand bodies. All those people, all those soul ties are transferred. So that's, I don't entertain that because people, you know, if you don't know any better, it is what it is. But nowadays, life is so sensitive. People, they have the uh, D.I.E., you know, the dis-ease, you know, they have all type of stuff, and they don't tell you, and you don't want to use no no uh, um, umbrella. If you if you use a, some protection, you might as well don't even do it at, at all. It defeats the purpose of SES. Mm-hmm. That protection so, is, is crap. It's, it's suffocating and shit. <laughs> you mess around, you mess around, and the the, the 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 like you know how noodles bro like when you put them like the, the pasta when you when it's, it's it's hard at first and then over the course it just gets limp in the water that's just how we're talking about it's gonna go in and in, in, in all that package it's strangling your shit so i so i believe if you're if you're gonna go hit the home run you might as well go and do it the, the, the real way and you know if if you don't really know that person you gotta be careful you can't just go ahead and just do it I had one female, she said that I was uh, G-A-Y because I went over her place watching the movie Dip and she was pissed. She's like, what the hell? <laughs> but you know, but, but they say that, 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 that we're the only problems. Like we're the only people that, um, you know, but they say that, oh, if you want to get smashed, fellas, you, you need to get married. But a lot of them just trying to have a good time and not get married. Mm. Yeah, I mean, to me, it, if I could see the next person make mistakes and I go and I make the same mistakes, then I'm really the true fool. If I can just go and one and done. Now I'm 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 walking out here like DJ. And then the worst thing is to have child support with a crazy big baby mama. You have child services coming at her and you have fighting for custody and then she's she's taking half of your paycheck and She's, she's lying on you. This is this all all for what for fornication? So, so the the flesh of me is of course, you know, you want to interact. So the way that I interact is simply the conversation by me giving that snow bunny those those chocolate chip cookies. was me feeding it into my flesh because you know I wanted to be next to that snow bunny, but then I snapped out of it and I, I walked out. But see the crazy you walked thing out is, after you got after you had fun. The, the crazy thing is it was leftover chocolate chip cookies. So that's disrespectful as fuck. So look, in my in my deathbed, I'ma look back at that situation, but like I really gave somebody some leftover chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I mean, bro, I don't care. That chick that, that, that wanted to come that wanted to see me, the uh, the, the chick that's like twenty plus years older than I am, that was right around there. I mean, she was she was geek. She was gonna actually come and see me. I told you about the story in December. I blocked I blocked her number, blocked her. One of my other friends, he said, "Man, you swerved her. Man, that's cold." I'm like, "Bro, they do, they do it to us all the time, or to you? They do it to you all the time." You also gotta be careful accepting food from them. Uh, woman used to always give my father food. I, I don't accept food. No, but 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 he's not here. He's passed away, so you, you can't trust people what they put in their food. 
like like you don't know what they you are. know some people can be witches and they can actually um do stuff to make you fall in love with that woman yeah yep is evil no nah, i don't ever take food anymore bro i never will I, i'll say thank you very much I, i'll take it I'm throwing that crap away <laughs> exactly or give it to someone else no 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 because i don't, I don't want to put them at risk of anything oh okay Look at Dante, man. Dante, you're like an hour and a half in the. Uh, he's still talking about Kyrie got locked up against the. Again. <laughs> but it's nice if you actually do have a family. You know, it's nice to see when, you know, the woman is, uh, you know, a part of the household and you see the little. Go overseas, AC. That's your best chance, man. It's nice to see the family, you know, the, the, the father comes home with the chicken, the mom, you know, she's watching kids. They go out on trips and their little, you know, road trips or whatever. Don't Dad, say that too loud, bro, because they're going to call that slavery in this country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, respecting, respecting somebody like me and you, AC, is now slavery. <laughs> I'm not lying, bro. I took a class where uh, it wasn't that bad, but I thought it was going to be bad, bro, because I did like an elective. And I took this course. It was like uh, it was a class about it was a good class. It was about female empowerment, which it was actually I learned some things like I thought it was going to be bad. Like a few of them were complaining. They were saying, you know, oh, I don't need a man and all this and all that. And, you know, the typical and, you know, um, you know, they were one of them were trying to was trying to attribute cook a cleaning as slavery. I was like, like cleaning dishes. I was like, <laughs> yeah, bro. I ain't never. I would never. The devil is a liar. I would never get ended up in this country. He heck no. Because all it is, they just they they they, they hate you, man. They, it's it's all hate. Is AC there? Yep. Yeah, man. Are you going overseas or no? I'm thinking about the uh, either Mexico, not not too far away from the United States. You know what I mean? So then mm -hmm. I can just, just quickly just uh, you know just cross the border and uh, see my sister when she's old and stuff. Uh, you know. If you have 50K in Africa. Huh? Your you sister? Yes. Yeah, she's 10 years above me. So. She's in Mexico? No, nah, no. Nah, I'm saying, like, you know, when I'm older and, and, and she gets older, just to see her at least once in a while, it's not too bad of a trip to cross it. Because if you're in the Philippines, that's like a 24 hour flight compared to Mexico, and that's nothing. So. Yeah, women uh, overseas, man. I, I like they, they're looking for a long term relationship. Like some of them, a lot of a lot of them actually, because they're not they're not poisoned by this stuff here in this country. And they're and the food has the food is not as it doesn't have the organic. Know, yeah, I heard when people use the restroom, it's the best shit they they ever taken it in their life because it's it's it digests the right way. It's not processed. It doesn't get stuck in your, in your intestines the way it does. Gotta protect my money from this stuff. Go ahead. I dropped some meat on on the on on, and I I still ate it. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I'll be paranoid about that because you never know. Oh God, no no, not on the uh, the ground outside. Uh, nah, bro. Anyway, do, do, do you wear shoes in the house? Son of a mother ever. Damn, bro. Well, I, the only th hey, if I was, do you have some uh, lemons? If you have some lemons or some limes, I would put down, put some limes down my throat.
That's not gonna help, man. You gotta put some lines down your throat, man. Ah, uh, man. Shit, I just pray. I, I'll just pray about it. Do you have limes or lemons? The, the lemons would clean that up. I'm going to have to get that the box, so. Well, I would drink a shitload load of water. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about it. Cause I, I ain't no got me anyway. I ain't worried about it. I'm going to drink, drink plenty of water right now. We uh $50,000 in Africa is $1 million, bro. And then a 50K in the Philippines is more. Because it's, it's more, I think it's like 1 at 18. So. But in the meantime, <laughs> just worry about ourselves and just make sure that we're in check so we can be the best husbands that we can be. Because, you know, we talk about wives all all day long, but to keep it 100, even if I was to have the most feminine woman next to me, I'm still not ready to be a husband because I, I really appreciate my my space. You know, because a woman, it, a I appreciate being feminine single. woman, she, she's, she's all, all, all over your ass. And she's pissed when you when you want space, and she's she wants to do everything that you want to do. She's 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 like a puppy. So that's a lot of uh, clinging. Like she's extremely clingy. So I'm not ready for that. I I I really appreciate when like even when you walk outside, the woman's not gonna walk the way that you walk. You have to slow down to keep up, yeah. up so she can keep up with you. So mm. I I'm not ready to compromise life. But see, when you're at peace with your life, uh, you don't care about how to come a long time and shit. But I, but I do care about my alone time. I really, I, mean, I love my alone time. I I feel bad for the people that got records and they can't get apartments. They have to use a girl to get an apartment and they're forced to live with that girl because they have something on their record. And you can't get a place. You're gonna get married to somebody that's gonna talk like this. Hi, AC. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Ah, fuck, man. I think yeah. you know, I, I think I might go back to the black woman. Because you I said might, what again? I, I might go back to the black woman. Hey man, wish me luck. You want American or what are you doing? Nah, I think I'm thinking about uh, either my my culture. What what is that? Uh, Haitian. Oh okay. Yeah. I think there's a lot of good black women, like especially like in other countries. I really want to show this video. Fuck, I want to show this video. It's not copyright, but I think it, it, it's, it, it's pretty much this girl. She's dancing with another person. It, she has her clothes on. But I don't know. If that so the fact, that it's a, the fact that it's a question mark, I'm not going to play the video. <laughs> Drink plenty of water. I didn't eat that much of it anyway, though. But I already know I'm fine, bro. The Lakers play the Warriors today, so if they lose today, damn. That's gonna be fucking They're bad. playing the Warriors in the plan. I mean, we already know this. this you know the, the league wants that, man. LeBron is going to be back because he was gone last game. And your boy um, Juan Soto, he hit his first home run as a Yankee. And then uh, Atuni, or whatever his name is, Sean Atuni. 
Uh, he had a whole <coughs> bunch of I don't, I, I'm still not going to bet baseball until like probably into the month of May. Uh, the Cubs, yep. bro, the Cubs had an 8 0 lead and they choked. That's what I'm talking about, bro. How how you up eight home runs and you lose the fucking game, bro? You know? That's that's the shit, I'm, bro. Hell no. Nah. I'll be damned if I have a hundred or X amount of dollars and I'm up eight zero, and then I my, my team loses. So fuck that. I've been there, done that. Not not this year. I learn from my mistakes. I, I work way too hard for my money. I I rather donate my, my money to Mike, or give my or or tip more when I go out to eat than to, to gamble and lose to some shit like that. Fuck that, bro. But since gambling's at an all-time high, the shenanigans is also at an all-time high. Mm -hmm. See, last year, I, when baseball season started, I was so hungry to, to possess, but then that's when I got picked the most. So then I learned, okay, I have to wait at least a couple of weeks when the season starts to see what's going on. Yeah, but why did you bet on the Bills against the Chiefs? I'm telling you, bro, they they fooled me. I uh, won, well, what I'm, I'm about to what I'm about to say sounds crazy, but this is what I was believing. They cooked them in their regular season. Uh, I, yeah. didn't, I, I, I didn't believe in uh, MBS. Uh, I didn't believe in no one. Uh, Mahomes was a crybaby. Um, it was just the perfect picture. And then the Bills was the favorite. So, yeah. Yeah, man. So, Stuff like that, you know, it makes you mature and it makes you not do those same bets again. So for the rest of the playoffs, I was better the Chiefs. Uh, I actually went went to sleep in the Super Bowl, mm. and I was confident uh, the Chiefs was gonna win it. And I'm glad I went to sleep because I was a slow at Super Bowl. <laughs> so he was able to slow the game. Uh, I uh, woke up in uh, overtime. And I so so I woke up just in time. <laughs> Dang! But I, after the Bills lost, I officially was like, nah, hell nah. So the the fact that I saw uh, his brother, I think it's uh, Jason Kelsey, right? Yeah. The fact that he was so happy in that press box, shirtless, mm -hmm. and the game was still going on. That's when I knew I was cooked. It's like, why is he shirtless and it's freezing outside, and he's he's so so happy, but the game is still happening. You could easily lose, so he knew yeah. what time it was as well. So I put a lot of bread when they went up against the Ravens. I already knew what time it was. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, Cali Mustard uh, is is a regular Bill dude now. I I haven't put my money on basketball in a long time. I haven't found my mojo in basketball the whole season, bro. I've never went the whole season without getting a stride. This year has been yeah. my worst year in basketball. So how's it in Houston? Now I said that I'm in Houston, but I'm in reality I'm not in Houston. <laughs> nah, you're in Houston. 
it was real cloudy, man. Mike got to see the eclipse, but where I was at, it was cloudy the whole day. I didn't see it. So that was cool that Mike uploaded up, that video. At least that was your video. <laughs> nah, that was my. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh. You saw the uh, the eclipse, or no? You like about it. I just saw that it was it was dark outside. It was very dark. <laughs> Go might look like Bowser out there. And I'm just playing. He doesn't even look that big, actually. I mean, that, that's a long time ago. He's probably like 230 right there. What? I must find a video to show y'all. <laughs> Gotta make sure. Hey, Mike, can I play a, a, a video of people dancing, but they got their clothes on? You really want to show women dancing? <laughs> ah, you, you, you probably have happy time with that. Nah. <laughs> I uh, messed that up. Some bullshit happens in my personal life. Like God will punch me on some bullshit. Huh? Each time I mess up, God will give me a consequence and he'll punish me in real life. So I, so now each time that I'm tempted to do that, it, it, the consequences are, are, are severe too, bro. Like, like I'll get a cracked windshield. <laughs> uh, like, there's this something crazy. Like a dog would run up on my ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going on Octavius. So there's only so many warnings that God can give me. It's like, all right, man, you want to fornicate? You know what was about to happen. Next morning, I'm like, damn, how the hell did I survive? I don't know how I survived, but I'm happy that I did. I think one time I fornicated, and then I caught the C word. Because like, my immune system was down. I was like, this a bitch. Mm -hmm. like the whole C word, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I said, bro, that, that's what I get, though. Caught the C word, huh? Caught the C word, bro. I still never caught that crap. I caught it twice. I'm looking around, people just coughing. I'm like, man, I remember this Hispanic chick when I was working at a restaurant. This is like right before, right when it happened, 2020. But her cough was like, like it was bad. Like, you know, I was coughing early. Well, she was. It was kind of like, I was like, wow. And this, and this, this uh, butthole dude. He was, he was funny, but. He was like, I think, I was like, he was like, it was Arab. He was cool. He was, he was like, kind of like, like said, oh, oh, somebody has the, the C-19. I was like, oh my goodness, bro, stop it. And now there's something called the bird flu. And I haven't caught any of that stuff, man. And that's another reason why you should eat a lot of fruits and uh, veggies. If, if you're at a low state and you eat them bullshit, then you're 
So, mm-hmm. you're probably <laughs> Mike lost a lot of weight. <laughs> He's not even close to this size. Maybe this was like a cu- a couple months ago. Nah, bro, that was like a year or so ago. This video? Yeah. <clears throat> Let me see. This was nine months ago. Oh shit, nine months ago. <laughs> Damn, time flies. Damn. Look at Mike. <laughs> he's 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 a cone, man. You can just go you can go right around him. I can't wait to play Mike in basketball. Never the opportunity presents itself. Make sure you he won't play him. you. Nah, he is. Watch. He won't play me. You know that. He, he's been ducking me forever. He'll play, play, play me first before he plays you. Because he won't play me, man. I remember when I was trying to. I said, I'll pay you 200 just to pay, just, just to play. <laughs> Well, he's scared that y'all going to fight. And that's what he says, man. He says to, every, to everyone. He said it to T-Streets and everybody else. I mean, that's what he says, man. Hey, at least he's uh-huh. keeping it 100. No, he's not. That's, that's his excuse. You don't know that? You know that. That's his excuse to not play somebody. He said the same thing to Lamont. Do you think Lamont's trying to go there to fight somebody? No. Of all, of all those people, you, T-Streets, FYF, I, I think he'll play me. Of course, because he thinks he might have a chance to beat you. He's not He's not beating two streets. Two streets, I've seen him. He's not beating FYF. He's not beating me. I won't even let Mike score a single bucket. That's what I'm saying. I would shut Mike out 12 nothing. I promise you. I will make sure on defense, bro, I'm burning 2,000 calories <laughs> defending Mike, bro. <laughs> I'm 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 locked down, bro. Mike better take some pre pre workout. He's probably oh, gonna right. have, yeah. bro. He probably doesn't want to try to fight me. Yeah. Do you see the Hispanic dude drop Mike on his butt? <laughs> I'm trying to find that video, but I you played the video. It, okay, so go to the video. It's like a like a middle aged Hispanic dude, um, probably like his mid forties, bro. <laughs> he has so many videos, though. I don't know. That's yeah, true, it. bro. You but do you, but do you recall that he he legit dropped them, yeah. <laughs> and that spot right there too, in that same gym. <laughs> it was off a triple threat. I think he made a short about that too. He, I think, yeah, I think he did. I think it's easier to find a short. Let me go to the short. You should have hit that chick up, AC, at that, at that IHOP back in the day. <laughs> Oh, hell no. That, she, she was trying to do the bird call. Oh, man. Shit. She was ratchet. had tattoos all over and shit. Okay. What did she say to you again? I forgot what she said. but You I, said slap her. <laughs> I don't know what she said. I said fuck me, the order. At that point, I, I canceled the order. Fuck it. She's like, what's up, honey? You don't want any of this? <laughs> That's the the amount of women that are just throwing it around nowadays is scary, man. That's someone's daughter, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. That woman. 
<laughs> what is happening? Hey, see what? Oh, why does Mike have a ha have a show of that woman <laughs> that he doesn't even know? <laughs> he just posting just whatever. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 I, I got a feeling that's his old, like his uh, material. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you know he's um got the lotion out on that a few times. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm trying to find that Mexican video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he got a chain? <laughs> Talking about gold. Oh, man. How long are these shorts? This is, it was only in my mind. Whoa, what's the story doing here? What is that? Hold on, what is that? Click on that. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought she was doing some, some crazy stuff. I think that's supposed to be his girl. I think I don't know. Probably not. I think. What in the world? He said what? His yeah, his ex. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What are we doing? What is that? Oh no! <laughs> 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 oh. oh, there's no, there's no way you dunk this. <laughs> oh. oh my God! Yeah, Mike's vertical is just, oh no, man, Mike jumps like he has a. Uh, a uh, a fifty pound dumbbell tie around his waist. <laughs> that's a, that's a, a lot of yellow. Those are the longest shorts I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you will be eating, huh? <laughs> That's why you're losing weight, man, because like, uh, they're not making their food for him anymore. And my, my Mike comes in, he's like, You got you got are tamales ready? Oh nothing. Oh <laughs> He was eating good. He was it he where it was. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what's never mind. I, I don't want you to click on that because I don't I don't wanna I, I was just trying to see what was that video. Now you can keep going down. <gasps> I'm trying to find the one where, uh... Oh, my God. 
Yeah. <laughs> he said, bo- he said, he said bo- booty going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I remember I told him about that chick, Juicy, the white chick. He lost his mind, bro. He listened to a movie right there in that short. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Dang, I got to blow my nose. Hey, look at that vertical, bro. That's terrible. Ah, <laughs> uh, where's that clip of the message? I, I think it's on his other channel. Oh, okay. <sighs> look at it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, click on that one right there. Look at his face when he's lifted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to focus on huh? He looks like a lot like legit the uh do you remember, do you remember Scooby-Doo the uh the werewolf he looks like the wolf man <laughs> I mean right there I'm just trolling it's all fun and games but yeah <laughs> he's getting his work out here though see that's what I need to buy is keep it in the house <sighs> Now, each time I go back, it goes back to the beginning. So I gotta find it and not go back. <laughs> hey, Octavius, Octavius, if you're still in the chat, bro, check out a, a group I used to listen to all the time. I don't listen any more like that, but uh, it's a group called The Killers. Um, now, like I said, I don't listen to them anymore like that because it's just like, you know, the name The Killers is not a very appealing name, but uh, dang, what's that song called? They got a song called Run For Cover and they have another song called uh, The way it was. Oh, it's a beautiful song. I I I want to go for a drive in the nighttime, in the desert. Listen to that song. Ugh. Dang it. He said it might look like John the Baptist. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is AC still there? Nope. Nah, bro. That pagan. That's 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 the band name, sir. I didn't make that name up. You gotta ask the lead the lead singer. Hold on. Nah, John the Baptist. I'm not gonna do that because that's um. I was gonna look it up, but I don't know why you made that joke. So AC, so when you looked at what Mike was eating, how do you how do you grade his diet? F. <laughs> That's why he be passing gas. <laughs> Bro, he just be farting as crazy. He's like <laughs> 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 He be mid 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 speech. <laughs> 
man. Yeah, dog, dogs hate that, though. You, you fart, and then they just go, go, go run away. Like, oh. Yeah, they think it's disrespectful. Like, nigga, how dare you? Nah, bro. I'm going to get some dogs, right? Oh, your name is Cornelius. Why did you say Celeste Cornelius keeping me healthy would not let me have fast food? <laughs> ah, you told on yourself. Your last name is Cornelius. Dang. Are those smoothies? Is that a football gift? I mean, is that a Dallas Cowboy Cup? <laughs> yeah, might yeah, needed to trim up, man. Go to this one. We got to clean the kitchen, but it's okay. You said what? I miss uh, reading his his short title. Go clean the dishes like a certified dishwasher. <laughs> Hey man, that's good, man. Gotta clean the dishes, man. <laughs> he said like a certified dishwasher. Yeah, Roach's AC. Nah, God forbid. Oh, nothing ugly. What's ugly? Roaches. Are you only like roaches? Ah, uh, the word roaches makes my skin crawl. Hey, bro, Ro roaches are pretty, man. Ah, uh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Every now and then, man, I need to get a little bit of roach in my put, put that in my food, more protein. Ah, yeah? uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Add a little more flavor, you know. Oh uh, hell no! I, I uh, used to watch Fear Factor, and yeah, the scene I would. Nah, they those cockroaches. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. They had like a newer version of Fear Factor, I think, with Ludacris. Like, I don't know if it's, it's probably not running anymore, but like, it's not that new because that like started like 2017, 18. I kind of watched it. They had like these snakes in the water and they would have to get them out with their teeth and throw them in the other thing. I could probably do oh, yeah. that. I could probably do that. Maybe. I don't know. Freaking uh, Joe Rogan was the host. Joe Rogan. That's when life was, was simple. Yep. My favorite years were 2000 and like, like 04 to 07, or 08. And then, but then the 2010s were my favorite. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Look, man. Damn. No, move on. She, she she she's slim though. But let's move on, AC. <laughs> Mike Mike said I want icing on my on my chocolate cake. <laughs> Vanilla icing on my chocolate cake. <laughs> my mic is crazy. Yeah, what do you grade all this food right here, bro? Like, it's just crazy. what is all this? <laughs> <laughs> F <my Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriend crossed the line. Oh, he just recording something. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Banana pudding. Oh, man. Let's see. That's why he be passing gas, man. Is that why he's there? What he made? No, it's uh, his people. Grandmother, shout out to shout out to his, shout out to his grandmother and grandfather, everybody in 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 his home. It's good when you got people that still rock with you. Yep. Uh, speaking, of, I need to ask my uh, aunt. Can she make me banana pudding? Oh my goodness, boy. Mm -hmm. 
don't give me banana pudding, bro. Like the big bowl, man, with like, I, I drink plenty of milk with that stuff, bro. I got to warm my banana pudding up though, man. I, I need it to be like, you know, I like soggy stuff, bro. Pause. So I can't eat hard cookies, man. You know, you like banana pudding. Chips ahoy. Hmm. It's supposed to be chips ahoy. Chips ahoy. Chips ahoy. Oh, yeah. You put the chips in the hoy and I like the. I put them in the oven because I, I don't like the microwave anymore. You know, the radiation. Oh, yeah. I rarely use my microwave because of that. Yeah, I've used it recently too much. Y'all, what's up, y'all? Goat Mike here. Goat Mike here. Man, my hair is getting to get wild. The chicks, bro. <laughs> my hair is getting <laughs> wild. Doing you know? Turn into a caveman. Bro, his hair is not. Have, have you played uh, 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 Yoshi? Like, you know, the, the, the you know uh, Mario? The, 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 the Yoshi, like, his, his hair right there? It's like the Yoshi. You know what I'm talking about? The Yoshi yeah. mushrooms or whatever? Yeah. That's what it looks like, bro. That's crazy. What's up, y'all? It's Goat Mike here. Goat Mike here. I'm out here representing Kobe <laughs> because of the LeBron fans. You know what I'm saying? Look at my attire, bro. I got to rep represent Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? I'm wearing this jersey because of all the LeBron fans. You know what I mean? I'm wearing this jersey because of the LeBron fans. You know what I mean? So, all right, Goat Mike here. Represent Kobe, you know. I gotta show off. I gotta show people who the real king is, you know. Cause LeBron ain't no king. Kobe Bryant is king. All right, peace. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> You go to Cuba's house. And I forgot he even existed. You don't like it in the five channel. I mean, I like Cuba. It's sad that, uh, it's sad that, uh, Mike did what he did and that forced Cuba had to leave. Y'all about the, y'all the same age, AC. Yep. You got to have um, uh, the fuck of Mike, you got to be uh, very open-minded. Uh, you can't take things personal. Cause oh, he was doing well, though, man. Yeah, I see him still making videos. Yeah, bro. That's for Cuba, man. I still like his videos when I, when I try because I yeah, man. I wish him the best on his channel, man. To pick it for so he can get, you know, or whatever he does. Yo, he, I had no, no idea. He, he had a kid. Yeah, I saw that like a couple few months ago. <laughs> like, hey, you have a kid this whole time? Cuba. Yeah. Cuba. See, that's the thing got lost in the sauce. You just be damn pull out. Yeah, it could be either you lost in the sauce, especially with like a thickums and she's on top and you start to <laughs> get, hold on. Yeah, it's dangerous waters. But for some people, when they have a kid, it actually is a blessing because now it, it makes them hustle more than they could ever hustle before if they didn't have a kid. Like, I know this bum. Uh, he was going nowhere in life, but he got two kids with two separate ba baby mamas at the same time. They, they got pregnant, and now he has more than he ever had before because he had to get out of his grind and hustle. So, mm -hmm. for some people, it works out like that. It for it forced them to hustle, you know. 
Yeah. You ever you ever eat spider spider? Uh AC? <laughs> nah, never. Oh, man. Yeah, I want you I want me and you to go to uh, Brazil to the Amazon and uh catch one of those uh big old anacondas, just me and you. <laughs> Hell nah. Those mosquitoes, man. But the woman. Ooh, Brazilian woman. Damn. Man, I know. I, I'm going to go to Brazil. Probably, I want to go to the end of this year. I'm going to Chicago in, I think, June. That's what my schedule allows. But I'm going to go in June. Because it, it'll be warm. You know what I'm saying? It's probably still, it's still cool in Chicago, man. You saw the Cubs game, man? You, I think you mentioned them, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, yeah, you mentioned the Cubs. It's still cold over there, huh? Yeah, it's the perfect weather. Not too cold, not too hot. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to go to Chicago. It's not. It's not going to be that big of a trip. That that long of a trip for me, from where I'm coming. It's a gorgeous city. Midwest. Yeah. I think Chicago is a better city than New York. I mean, in terms of the way it looks. People are all on New York's uh, stuff. I don't. I don't get it. Fuck New York. Yeah, man. They, they just recently got an uh, earthquake, right? Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. I, I saw a video. Where this dude was like, "There's, there's an earthquake." Like, we we just had a we had an effing, effing earthquake. You know. Yeah, how you like the AC? Just me and you, man. We're gonna go uh, catch a forty foot, a thirty foot anaconda. Oh my, oh my goodness, bro, that's crazy. You know, Mike said he loves tan, tan, tan women buns. <laughs> that's crazy. BBC is the goat, and if you what? I think yeah, yeah. I think that's my sleeping, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my sleep's crazy. You like. <clears throat> Man, I freaking talk in my sleep. That's crazy. Yeah. I talk about sleep sometimes too. Like, um, nah, but like a few a couple of days ago, I found myself like, like talking like, uh, I don't know what I was saying, but I was asking like God for forgiveness. And like when I was like, I, I, I just, just, just in general, and uh, like I was, I was, I was half asleep and I was half not. So I, I could kind of hear what I was saying. <sighs> And and that's another thing. If I was to get married, now my wife got to deal with that shit. Yeah. Hey, would you ever wake up a, a sleepwalker? No, never. They tell you don't do that. Some scary shit. Yeah, if I have a sleepwalker as a wife, I'm getting divorced. Bro, imagine four in the morning. Oh my God! Holy cow! I just saw some crazy lightning. I hope that didn't strike anything. Wow, that's crazy. Yo, the lightning hit the Statue of Liberty too. What was this? recently because yeah, you know in brazil they have a thing called uh, a statue of christ uh, yeah our, our redeemer the lightning hit that that's what i'm gonna go visit when i go there too man dude i'm kind of up in the air if i'm gonna get married because i still like to have fun time 
but I'm going to go overseas for that because like you, you, do you know a lot of these, a lot of these spouses now are are are, are not giving it up to their uh, spouse, bro. You know that. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. You married and man, that's that's a, that's a that's crazy. The word even says to not withhold yourself from your partner, but bro, and they rationalize the them not giving it up, bro. Say, oh, I need to be emotionally. Uh, what? That's your wife. That's your. Uh, well, a lot of cases. Uh, oh, that's your is. husband. I found it. I found it. Yep, I just saw it. Uh-oh. Mike's getting ready to get on defense and lock him down. Oh, damn. He can't even play defense. <laughs> man, Mike plays defense like Scooby-Doo villains, bro. <laughs> Wait, hold on, rewind it. I, I got to see all of it. <laughs> Oh, why are you trying? I'm not in my own way. Oh, my gosh. She's still too skinny, though, by the way. From AC, you hear me? Yep. yep. She's still too skinny, but AC, why, you, why did you play that? Is that on my screen? Nah, it's on uh, Twitter. Oh, my God, AC. <laughs> AC is crazy, man. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what I'd do at this point in my life. If she would try to do that to me, I'd, man, I'd, I'd, have, to, I'd have to run, run, run. <laughs> run like Joseph. Yeah, he, 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 yeah he, went to, he went for 40 years, right? No, nah, that's... Uh... Hey, no, Moses. That was Moses. Nah, Moses ran for 40 years. No, no, no. Wait, 40, wait, 40 years? Yeah, because Mo I think Moses made a mistake. And he, I oh, think... That was 40 years? That's what that's what I've heard, yeah. You can fact check me, though, because, I mean, I'm not... Fact check me. If that's 40 years, that's... that's whoa, that's a little bit too long. Now, I know there's 40 years in the wilderness when they left Egypt. Cause, cause I could be wrong. I mean, I thought I heard Moses. You, you should go, you, you should fact check me because I don't want to put wrong information out there. Because I'm I'm only human. Because I know he committed the M word because he thought his people get whooped and he went into the wilderness. Then he came back. If he came back at forty years late. That's a little bit too long. Yeah, AC. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I mean, that's hard to turn. That's hard, bro. <laughs> To turn it down and see, like, yeah, you you see what I'm doing right now. This is this this is what could happen <laughs> happen <Yeah>. in private. <laughs> you hear me, AC? Yep. That's hard to turn down, man. Let, let me find another one that I was playing. Let's see. I'm gonna play a little small clip. <sighs> okay, I can't think I found it. No, I I didn't even look. I'm not even looking. This is bad, man. What is going on, man? That's terrible. Let me find the other ones. 
AZ, what is wrong with you? You lost your mind? <laughs> Still, those chicks are too skinny for me, but, you know. All right, let me play this one, then. I thought another one. <sighs> you lost your mind. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you out of your head, God dang. Hey, she, you all your head. Oh, my God. I'm not even going to watch this stuff. Man. This is crazy. That's bad, bro. No, nah, bro. I'm not, I can't watch this stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I found another one. Hold on. Is it what you watch, AC? <laughs> I saw it on Twitter today. It's like, oh, man. okay. Uh, let me share. I'm not even looking at the screen here. What about this one? Nah, man. <laughs> nope. What about like this I one? said? Nah. I need thick women. You know this AC. But nah, I'm not trying to look at that stuff, man. I probably got that from my dad because my dad likes like like thick women. But it's tough, man. It's tough, man. To to stay strong, cause oh yeah, especially when you really start to think about it. <laughs> especially when it's some like like thick yellow tatted up thing doing something like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I just put my head down and in public AC. I don't even look at them. AC, you gonna marry Lily Jones? Nah, the, if I was to choose someone to marry, it probably would be. Um, let me think. If I could choose. I don't even really, I don't like, I don't care about celebrities. If I had a pick though, and I, let's see, if I have 10 seconds to pick, I'm taking You're going to pick Queen Latifah, huh? <laughs> Angelina Jolie in her prime? I'm trying to think somebody submitted. No, it, it has to be right now. Oh, like what? Uh, what do you mean right? It, it is right now. No, because she, she's not in her prime though. Oh. Uh, somebody in her prime? Dang. Yeah, Mary Amber Rose, well, she, she's past you know, her prime. For me, the fact that it's taken so long, that's crazy. Mary Amber Rose. Mm. Uh, and I guess I'm not going to marry no one because I can't think of no one. Maybe uh, N Nipsey Hussle's uh, girl. Lauren London? Yeah. She's not in her prime. She's not, but she's all the face that that I like. <clears throat> you should marry Hillary Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. No? I mean when she was younger. Yeah, Hillary wasn't bad when she was younger. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I was shocked that she was actually kind of attractive when she was young. It, it, that's the thing. Like, people who are bigger, if they respect themselves and actually get, get, get in shape, a lot of people are very beautiful in, in this world. There's a lot of people that sleep on themselves and let themselves go. But if they wasn't in shape, they'd be very attractive. Mm. Not all, but a lot. 
like I, I see big people all the time. Like, man, you don't know how good you would have it if you just lose like two, three hundred. Like, what you be like? Wait, you like phase on love? Like, like for example, if uh, if Lizzo, if Lizzo was to lose like three hundred yeah. pounds or four hundred pounds, I think she would be a. You said four hundred pounds. She didn't weigh four hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy though? Like the let me say this the. The the back part of the engine was very very flat, and I'm like, that's that's bad, bro. To you know what I'm saying, like to you know to be to be you know healthy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if you if you got a flat back background, that's 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 bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we was bad looking. And not in the, hold on, not in the face, not in the face. Yeah, there's, I see. That's the thing. There's a lot of people like that, but they just let themselves go. And I see the, you know, the potential if they were. Like you know, Nia Jax. No. You don't know Nia Jax? Let me type her in. Yo, you know if you see her, probably it's just WWE. Uh, she she looks pretty good to me, even even at, at no, I said Nia Jax. Maya. Naya, like N I A, and then just oh, Jax, J K J J X. Yeah, that. Oh, Jax. I don't think she's bad looking. How old? Oh, she's thirty nine. She she oh, she could be forty. <laughs> I don't think she's bad looking, man. See, she lost like a hundred pounds. She's like 270, bro. <laughs> Man, she's 270? Yeah. <laughs> you know, some dudes will like that position right there. That you know, Rhea Ripley, that's the one that she's sitting on. Rhea Ripley's attractive. Like, she, she's my darling in the, in the WWE, bro. 270, bro? Yeah. <laughs> you seem, you seem kind of shocked. 270 is a lot. But even as big as she is, like she she she's gang, she's lost weight, but then she put it back on, I guess, for the UFC. But even at her size, like I think she's attractive though. Crazy enough. I would take it if she lost two hundred pounds. So you want to be seventy pounds? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so maybe one one hundred and. 130 pounds less. Okay, so okay, so she'd be at like what? Nah, nah, that's nah, that's that, that's that's too that's too light, man. She's about 140. Nah, yeah. she's six foot, bro. Oh, she's six foot. Oh yeah, that's yeah. yeah. That's light too. And she like okay, it, for, for one is six foot for me, cause you know I like sorry, I like thick chicks. <laughs> she's got to be at least 185, and that's the lightest six foot, but. If she's six foot like one ninety ish, that's perfect. There's people that's like five two and they weigh two two hundred. No, that's pretty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. Yeah. Hey, AC. Hey, she's saying hey in the in the peach. <laughs> she said, that's "Hey, young girl. man, huh?" That's what that girl. I I hop was doing just like oh, that. Man. <laughs> how, how how old was she? She looked at least in her like mid thirties. But I mean it looks her deceiving, you know. Nah, I'm funny. Trust your eyes, but I'm pretty good at predicting a woman's age, like her age range. I'm terrible. There's one person thought, bro, I went for a job interview. The guy thought that I was twelve. <laughs> oh, they said this chick is Samoan. Like, the, I don't. She is not Samoan. I don't care what I said. This chick is not Samoan. No way. They lied about that. I tell you, she, she's she's a domino. She's exactly black and white. Yeah, I can see the white side. Because they tried to lie about Kofi Kingston saying that he's from uh, Jamaica, Jamaica. He's actually from West Ghana, Africa, which is cool. Oh, but the uh, wrestler. Yeah, yeah, the wrestler. That chick is not Samoan, bro. She's just she, she, yeah, she's mixed, brother. 
Man, do you know what's the, the best game I played on GameCube? This is random, but King Arthur, bro. This King Arthur. Arthur. Yeah, you see her hair in the far left right there? This right there. See, I love women that had like kind of like that floppy, curly hair. That's beautiful. Anyway, move on. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm going to go ahead. I, I like uh, uh, when a woman wears uh, straight hair. Yeah, I, I, man, I like it all, to be honest with you. And then the ponytail. Oh, man, I love the ponytail. I like the bun. When they got it tied in the bun. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's just anything that's natural. Look at that. They said that she's some more. Some really? <laughs> you got a lot better than that, WWE. Yeah, I don't look at that image, AC. <laughs> it's, 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 it's too provocative. Because <laughs> if that was old me, man, my, my mind would have gone all kinds of places. <laughs> <laughs> You know me back. You, you know me, AC. I was when I was just you. You know just how, what I what I used to, how I used to be, right? <laughs> I kind of came in uh, like the late side of you. Oh, okay, cause see, like right there with her braided hair, she looks pretty decent for her age. She's forty, bro. Like with the braids, yeah. that ain't bad. She looks thirty. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She. I'm a, I'll be honest. I'm a, I'm a, dude might call me crazy. I think she's very attractive, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm not lusty. I'm just saying, I mean, I think she's an attractive woman to me, especially for her age. You know, like you said, she looks 30. She's 40. She turned 40 in May. Hi, right, man. She's a pretty woman. She and she's probably a, looks, right. looks better in uh, real life, too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If she was from a different country and she was a good woman, I'd marry her in a heartbeat. Do 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 do. She do were laughing when I go ahead. Is that real Ripley? Yeah, it is. Yep. See, those are my two. They, listen, it's funny you mentioned that. Those are my two WWE crushes: Rhea Ripley and uh, her. People laugh at me when I talk about, when I mention Nia Jax, but bro, you got to see beyond like the weight, bro. Like beauty can come in any shape and size, bro. Yeah. But Rhea Ripley's better than her. I'm sorry, huh? She looks nice in this picture. Yeah, she got makeup on, of course, which helps, but she still looks good to me, regardless. Regardless. And I hate that makeup, man. That should be like catfish. Man, they like a totally different woman, man. <laughs> should be pissing me off. She's still decent without the makeup on. Yeah, like if you're decent without makeup, it's okay. But when you just like completely 180, and, oh, oh my goodness, it's like I hate that, bro. Yeah, and you, you, you can tell when they take out their makeup and they got black spots. Right mm -hmm. underneath their eyes. They, yeah, that's why. So much. That's why I like, like you know, I'm not going to the DR because there's a lot of temptation over there. But uh, Camp, I like the GG Dolan. Oh, okay. Who that is? GG Dolan. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> She's decent looking okay. in the face. Okay, okay, Cam. Cam is the white girl. Oh yeah, bro. I like I like snow bunnies. I like snow bunnies. I like snow bunnies. If I weren't trying to live right AC, I would have gone to that snow bunny's house <laughs> like back in January. <laughs> She's all right. Type of a woman named Mish. Well, never mind. If you could find just like a face shot of Mish's delicious, Miss, uh, uh, Miss go ahead, Miss delicious. Mistress, Mistress delicious. Now, just listen. If you could go, like, go to the images and just find like a face shot of her, <laughs> Miss delicious. Yeah, delicious. Yeah, like the word delicious. 
I don't even know how to spell it. D E L I, yeah. like Delhi, and then C I O U S. Oh, oh yeah. Like oh. <laughs> just, no, no, I was just saying, like you can just blow up the blow up the one that was. That's why I said, no, I don't watch her. I don't watch her anymore. I'm that blow up the. It, I think she's attractive in the face, but don't move. Get, get out of there. For anybody that's listening, I wasn't trying to get that. That's why y'all heard me. I said a face shot because. I was saying it because of what she does. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get out of there, AC. I was trying to say a face shot. Yeah, you heard me, AC. I, I, I was, I wasn't trying to, because I was like, I know what she does. She's forty-one as well, AC. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, man. I mean, I, I need to. I think hey, she's a little attracted there. The trans status. She's all for sure. She's she is all right in that in the face. She's all right. What about Cyborg? Yeah, that's your girl. <laughs> yeah, you think you think she's hot? Damn! Look at those muscles. What the hell? <laughs> Don't piss her off. She looks like a cat. Got those cat features. Yeah, nobody looks like that for real. This this people that can pop pop out their eyes. Yeah, open. I do know that. Thank God my eyes are not like that, man. That's crazy. <laughs> bro, look at the one at the far left, bro. At the top. Oh man. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> You turn in bed and someone is, is, is staring at you like that. You you you, you have those kind of eyes, don't you? <laughs> no. Put those round eyes. I actually like the cat eyes. What are cat eyes? Oh oh man, with the slit in the middle. No no no, like the oval, like it's, it's not like um. It's more of like, hold on, just let me just type it in. I actually went to Canada. That's crazy. Yeah, my eyes are, have have an angle to them. See, see these are cat eyes. Mm -hmm. But the oval, like the actual circle eyes, can't stand them. You know, you got several eyes. <laughs> Man, that's... Huh? I can't, I can't stand that. Especially if someone's on big ass eyes. <laughs> oh, man. You, you, do you like Mr. Bean Holiday? I never uh, heard of that. 
Mr. Who? Mr. Beans Holiday. Yeah, that's my first time hearing that one. You used to watch the uh, Zabumafu? Z- Zumafu? Zabumafu with the with the, uh, the, the, the the lemur. Yeah, that was my, man. That, that was my show. Set the crap on this. What Logic was talking about, Becky Lynch. Yeah, she's all right. She she was a big thing back in like 2016. That's when she was kind of new. None of these chicks are touching Rhea Ripley. I'm sorry. I, I used to have a thing for gothic chicks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you, you son of a mother. <laughs> Yeah, I, Raven is a, is a female, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a crush on her when I was a little boy. <laughs> Cause she, then her face used to like turn full black and stuff, and she was going just full emo mode. <laughs> <laughs> what about Cat? Catwoman? Nah, uh, that that one is okay with the the one and the yeah. Yeah, or the, the one next to it. The best cat woman was, uh, what's her name? Anne Hathaway. I mean, she played the role the best. She was actually pretty good. I've never cared about Holly Berry, bro. I never saw what was great about her at all. She's not, she, she not an ugly woman. Obviously not, but it's just, I don't know, man. It's kind of like Beyonce. I never saw what was so special. Who's that? I'm not sure her name. It's not saying. Okay. It's uh. He's alright. Zo Zo. Crazy piece, something like that. Okay. The other chick is better. Go, 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 hold on. Go down to the far right, right there. No, no, right, far right, far right. Eh, yeah, never mind. She's alright. Let's see, there's Catwoman, Teen Titans, and there's another one. I think it was, um, it wasn't Captain America, but it was something like that. Uh, what was the, what, yeah, the, what was the version of that? Huh. Catwoman, who said who? It's, uh, she had like. Super uh, girl? Super one? Yeah, yeah. It's us. Uh, No, no, it's not Superwoman. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Just this league. Let me just type that. So in the Justice League, who's the the woman? And that Wonder Woman, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Wonder Woman. Oh hell, Megatron! Sam, the boy, Fire Optimus, Megatron. We need to find the key. Where did he hold him? I'm just saying that was terrible. <laughs> That's not normally what I do. Huh? Go ahead. The first one was the best to me. Oh right, man, get a, get off my Transformers series, bro. The first three, yeah, you're right. Those those are my best. You like the first one, the best. I like the second one. What was it? The second one was called Revenge of the Fall, and I like that man. Megatron, my boy, man, but he got messed up, bro. Remember, remember that second movie, bro? He got punched his jaw. He was leaking oil, bro. He said, "Starstream." <laughs> he, he, he's messed up, bro. <laughs> bro, he couldn't even speak, bro. 
Scarface. <laughs> that was funny. I was like, God, no, make a try. And you know, Starfire says, I hate to be the bad uh, and I read news, but sometimes uh, cowards do survive. <laughs> Megatron, the prime, <laughs> the boy. He's got, he's got the, the, the all spark. A Megatron, please don't do me like this. Uh, okay, Megatron. That's pretty good. It was all right, bro. Once I get my voice cleared up, and then I might be able to do a good job. But nah, man, nah. But um, Transformers is my best, man. That's my favorite. Like, not my favorite movies, but. The Dark Knight Rises was close, man. It's up there. Yeah, that was, that was from the moment that movie started, man. There's too many good movies out there. Honestly, just pinpoint and say one is my best one, favorite one. Oh, yes, Mr. Wayne. I was wondering, Mr. Wayne. I don't know. I Everybody just loved, everybody just loved Bane in 2012, man. That was my guy, bro. Yeah. I used to try to get Jack like him, you know. I'd be like, look, look at Tinder Day, and then I just play. <laughs> he wasn't even that big, bro. You know that, right? He like he, he was like one ninety five. You know that, right? Oh, oh dang, that's it. Yeah, because he was like he like really short. He was like all muscle. He was like five now, like one ninety five. But I thought he was like like two fifty. <laughs> they got me thinking I can beat his butt, bro. I weigh him by a lot. Hey, did you see at the end of the movie when Bane started when they were fighting outside of that uh, courthouse or whatever it was? I don't know what it was, bro. Oh, you might know what it's called, but um, Bane was hitting him. He punched him like 10 times. Like, boop, 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 boop. I'm like, God damn, this motherfucker ain't playing anymore. I was like, dang. <sighs> he must have liked her, huh? I like the soul. I'm trying to Do you watch a show called Double Toasted? Nah. You sure, bro? It's hilarious, bro. They're based out of Austin, Texas, man. They're a pretty big channel. I tell everybody about them because they're hilarious, man. Oh, oh God, you would have to bring up my other crush, too. <laughs> Am I wrong, bro? For when I was a little kid, I used to get uh, turned on when she would beat beat the dudes up. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I was a boy. Her or um, the other woman on X-Men? I think her name was... Uh, Electra? Jean? No. Dream? Mm-hmm. Nah, it's gonna be this chick, bro. Nah, bro, it's it's that blue chick all day. I think she played in that movie with uh Liam Neeson, uh Taken, yeah. She does have kind of like this weird, like dark attraction. But nah, I'm good, bro. Do you remember that movie called Van Helsing? Nah, I never heard of that one. It's uh, with, uh, who's that actor? Hold on, let me see. Uh, yeah. What's that actor's name? Van Helsing. Uh, Van Helsing. Uh, Hugh Jackman. That's the that's the lead actor. I used to like that movie because of the vampires. <laughs> Isn't your favorite movie, The Fantastic Four? My mom likes the first, the very first one they made. I'm like, that's garbage. That's terrible. I'm sorry. That's just bad, bro. Fantastic Four, bro. (laughs) 
what about Buffy the uh, Vampire Slayer? I've never seen that movie. It's a, a TV show. Mm. It's pretty old. <laughs> Uh, seven Heaven. I never watched that at all either. Never seen Seven Heaven. Mm-mm. What? Hey. What about? I, I, I know you probably. Huh? What about Home Improvement? Nope. What? You probably watched According to Jim and all that stuff. Never seen Home Improvement with Tim Allen. Diagnosis murderer. That's <laughs> a good ass TV show. You, you, you watched According to, Jim, According to Jim, right? Never. <laughs> you probably watched Everybody Loves Raymond. Yeah, I love that show. Oh my goodness. That's my show right there. Yeah, I know you like Everybody Hates Chris, don't you? For some reason, I couldn't get too much into that show. I'm not gonna lie; I used to watch everybody hates Chris sometimes. I don't know why. You seen Doug? No, I haven't watched any episodes, <laughs> but I recognize his face, bro. Bro, look at him in that right there with the green face. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bro, he looks evil. <laughs> Nothing about him looks right. Used to watch Friday Night SmackDown, bro. I missed the old intro, bro, where used to they just say, "Ah, yes, just the moment y'all been waiting for." Can you just some yeah, That was my shit. Friday nights, cause I, cause I didn't have cable. So I used to watch. Friday yeah, night. that was my shit. I used to love when Monday Raw used to come on, bro. Uh, you know, Papa Roach, they, they, they're one of, the, one of the biggest theme songs, uh, Just Want to Be Loved. Wow, I just want to be, want to be loved. Mm, take the pass. Why would have been let it go? That's uh, what they say. That's the deal. You get no respect. You're going to get shows. You better watch your neck. I want domination. <laughs> I like Monday Raw. Come on. Come on. John Cena. <laughs> Bro, I was so happy when I was a kid, bro, huh? Freaking Edge. Like, yeah, bro. You think you, yeah, it, it, you, know, you know, you know, it's the one, you know, it, like when they introduce like the um, arenas, like I'm very excited right now. Let's see. And welcome live to the Canada Center in Canada. And um, you think you know me. I understand. I see clearly. <laughs> it's going to go down night, baby. My night raw. Man. And then Bro, I, that was the time. I went to my uncle's house with he had cable. Man, a yep. whole different other experience. So when I saw uh Generation X for the first time, D Generation X. It was like the real <laughs> Think you a big man? Did you like you a little man? Break it down. Oh man, don't get me started, bro. You got the kid coming out of me again, man. It's not like it no more, man. It's just 
watch watch the 09 SummerSlam um entrance that they had, bro. With some like headphones, like surround sound, bro. Shh. Like you know like the fireworks were like this. I'm like yeah, dog, man. Man, bro. I used to love WWE, bro. Like, you know. And then, wait, wait, what did it say, AC? And now, welcome to WWE WrestleMania. Man. Oh, my God, bro. I probably can't have kids right now, bro, because they're going to be wild just like me. <laughs> I got to calm down. Maybe I have kids about 30, 30, 35. Nah, nah, that's too old for me, but like, I'll they'll probably be more mellow, huh? I always wanted to uh, wrestle with my uh, children and just throw them on the bed and the couch and they talk to them and I, I act like it's working and just you know, make them happy. Yes, bro. I used to fight my aunt, my aunt, my cousin. I used to put I put him in the in the fu the John Cena thing. <laughs> I had him tapping out. <laughs> that was funny. I I, I freaking uh suplexed my dad. He was like, bro, you taking it too serious, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, logical said, have you seen China before the face surgery? She had a crazy fuck chin growing up. China. Was yeah, she passed away in 2016. Rest oh, in peace passed. to her. Yeah. Oh, she passed away? I didn't know that. Dang. Uh, you know why? Yeah. Nah, but I Triple H is a dirty dude, bro, because uh, he, he treated her like crap. And she called him out before like she passed, bro. The wrestling, they hide their debts anyway, man. I don't know if she passed. She's a legend, bro. <sighs> Dang. She like, wasn't bad looking to me, though. Swole as hell. Yeah. When I was a skinny dude, I would have let her beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not skinny anymore. Man, she swore. What the hell? Yeah, she, I think she weighed, when I looked it up, she weighed like 195, but that was muscle, though. Oh, man. <laughs> and she still looks feminine, though, in the face, to a degree. I, I had no idea about that. So it's it's hitting me since I just bombed out. It's, I used to love wrestling. I used to run home at, at this, because I would play basketball daily. Mm -hmm. and, and it would be like 6.50. I would, I would stop in the middle of the basketball session. You ain't lying, bro. Like 6.58, I'm kind of I'm, I'm looking at the time and this is it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, yeah, I, gotta go. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Wrestling comes first. <laughs> Running full sprint. Oh, watch. Full sprint. Man, rest in peace of China. <laughs> Um, yeah. Damn. It's a good picture. Wait, hold on. What are you looking at? China. You're looking at... You're looking at the wrong thing, huh? Damn. And then the, the uh, video games, man, back in the day, you can, like, cu customize the mm -hmm. pros. Uh-huh. I spent hours playing those, those video games. The great Kyrie was hilarious. 
<laughs> I was like, what the heck? Bro, I played those with earfo- headphones in, or earphones, but they had a lot of bass in 2021. Man, that scared me, bro. Like, when it starts to be like this. <sighs> I was like, man, that's scary, man. I will be afraid if he, like, you, you know, I used to, like, suffer, like, like, hold dude's heads with both hands. Bro, like, man, don't. And squeeze the shit real. When he did that to Ray Mysterio. Yep. Like he was on the pass. Yeah, right here. There you go. <laughs> bro. Man. <laughs> that's scary. Look at how big his hands are. That's, that's, that's wrong. And he used to be like pick you up, like like how Ray Mysterio was standing in front of him right there. He's just like let just hold you, just throw you down. <laughs> Ray Mysterio's eyes were creeping out because he had contacts. Mhm. I hated his theme song. That was so corny. Boyaka boyaka, six one nine. Hey, my stale. Boyaka boyaka, six one nine. Don't you go do what they come for you. Spanglish, the bit of the other, the other. But I'm just out of the novel. Champion, he was the world champion at one point. His yeah, JBL was. Was... <laughs> yeah, bro, when JBL would lose, it was funny, bro. Da, 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 da. Oh. I, I can understand J, JBL. I, I hated his wrestling moves. His, his he couldn't wrestle. He's from Texas, too. Sorry. I can't stand that. Was... He was funny as a commentator, so I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. But he was always mad, bro. I mean, he played, He was playing the a-hole role, and, and then he was, like, going... You know what I'm saying, Dango? No. Okay, but so nobody liked Fandango. He was like, oh, what are you guys just so mad about? This is beautiful. <laughs> I couldn't stand Batista either, bro. See, I like Batista more than JBL. <laughs> Batista looks so corny when he used to, like, oh, hold onto the ropes. That's JBL? Yeah, he had long hair. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> bro, it's a complete Yeah, cause he wasn't even muscular, bro. Pause. I mean, I'm not. not I'm just saying, like he just. <laughs> that's all he had was that boot <laughs> and a clothesline from hell. That clothesline from hell was something, though, boy. That's him. He's just running towards full body weight. Yeah, but that's that's a, that would hurt. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are these people? That's JBL with some. I don't know who that dude is. JBL, bro. <laughs> yep. Is that that damn dude? That be like damn. Yeah, that is him. Yep, that is him. <laughs> He looks some Samoan right there. So I was like, who is that? Yeah, yeah, JBL is hilarious. <laughs> I saw that was on my head. I remember that he was vandalizing. He said JBL is poopy, uh, poopy face or whatever. So he he came out of class. He, he cut off. Yep, yep. Yeah, it goes right there. Yep. I saw, I saw that episode. I want to say I was like what in oh nine or twenty ten. Oh, oh, it was like oh eight oh nine. That was a long time ago. 
they say that the elite mm-hmm. beat the time. Huh? The elite says speeding up time. They made up this thing called uh let me go to it. Four billion. Yeah, because time is going, bro. Because because I'm thinking, man, like 2015, 16, we would never see any years like those years ever again. <laughs> never, bro. It's like we're living in the Mandela effect right now. Four billion. Go. I gotta get back in my Bible, man. Just because, like, be buried in it like I was last year, huh? I have to read the Bible daily, man. I have to read it daily at least for chapter. Yeah, last year I was reading every single day, like for hours. I mean, not every single day. I was like other year because I got busy, but. I gotta, I gotta get right. Uh, yeah, look at those women. I can't do that. Yeah, apparently, uh, I can't find it the link, but uh, somewhere, I think it's in Russia. Yeah, it's in Russia. I'm trying to think of the name. It's some demonic ass name. They've been making this since 2012. And uh, they launched it today during the eclipse because throughout the eclipse, it's apparently there's supposed to be a portal for dark matter. And then. Uh, they were trying to launch the thing they put six billion dollars that they invested in to track what's going on. Let me put dark matter and they do a couple of Google. Dark matter machine. Nope. What's our plans? Then I'll bring it up. Oh, okay. It's called CERN. There we go. Look, CERN. But speaking of CERN, let me go to what it means. Of. So, CERN, what's, where did they get it from? Oh crap, yeah. I got my Bible right here. But this is one of the ripped ones, but I read this for a long time, so this is what I trust. I have like three more though, I think. Two or three more. Three yeah, more. I have, I have about a really nice Bible that I invested in. Just in my closet, just collecting stuff that I'm not gonna put. I'm gonna pass it down to my friend if I have one. It was passed down by my father. Mm-hmm. I do have one. 
who's to say that I, mm-hmm. I have one way to grow the world like this? See, the thing is, the older generation to raise kids was already tough, but now it's a whole nother battle to raise kids. Oh, it's the toughest. Kids don't even play outside. Streets are empty as hell. I think my generation was kind of the start of it. Um, Like the kids that were in high school around the 20, what, 2010s? Yeah, I think that was the last real one. Nah, it, it started getting a little bad, but it was still manageable. Yeah, now it's over. It's over, man. That's why I would dread it. If I had a daughter, I would dread that because this is like, because I could try to, I'm, I'm saying that because, man. I saw this clip of these little league football kids. This kid scored a touchdown, and his celebration was um, uh, he laid down on the grass. He did the gesture of uh, that song. Then I saw this white dude who was doing a free throw. He made the free throw, and then he put the police on the free throw line. He started working. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you got OBJ. OBJ still doing some like some Zest NFL dances when he scores, bro. I'm like, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These dudes are getting out of pocket, man. <laughs> got to put them back in the pocket. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Oh, I saw the kid. Yeah, I saw the kid. Yeah, I actually saw it. I'm like, okay, I think I found it, bro. (laughs) Crazy. (laughs) Bro, they showed this dude dancing in church too in in, in a wrong way. I'm like, bro. Bro, you see this dude? I saw that video like like yeah last year. <laughs> it, it was a short. You doing that, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, you can get out of that video. <laughs> there was this grown man dancing in church, like it was it, it was bad. I'm like, bro, what the heck? Okay, it wasn't this one, but what is he doing, bro? <laughs> He's so, so happy to take his time. Bro. Oh, yeah. I used to despise that right now. You can wait in line to get his time. Like, this past the office, like, <laughs> why do I have to watch him for the third to get on time? I should act like this is one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> She'll probably call the phone. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna send you some Smucker's Jelly Dose uh, Jelly Peanut Butter Sandwiches with uh, some chicken noodle soup and milk. Man, for for milk crust. Yeah, that's nasty. 
Yeah, I I, I, I watched some of Tony Evans stuff in the back before. But when they start talking, when they start mentioning marriage and stuff, I check out. Crazy because marriage is supposed to be this sacred thing, unless some a couple years of divorce. <laughs> See, that's the thing to me. Like, if you're gonna go before God and make a promise in front of your family members, you just find each other, you know, and then you have to leave. Like, to me, unless somebody, the marriage is a slander in God's face. So this is well. like whatever problems I got, it was out. Period. Especially just kids. But you know, one side, they normally they don't care. Like if you're dating each other and you leave, that's okay because you didn't, have, you know, make that problem the problem died. So see, I, I would never do anything like this. I see getting some some dumb wedding. Plop had a bunch of money that's going nowhere. People spend like 20, 30, 40, 30,000. Yeah. 30, I, I remember you showed that couple a long time ago. That chick and that dude, they got married. She wasn't bad looking. But her, her, her mom wasn't bad looking. She was so funny, huh? Well, that's a lot of money in one day. That's just for one day. But it's not even like I don't think the men even care about them about the wedding. That's that's what, that's the problem, bro. Yeah. Awesome. Saving up all this money for what? Thirty fans. That could have been your college. Uh, I mean, your your future kids' college fund. Mm-hmm. Unless you want to spend it on the wedding. I want, if, if I meet a woman, I'm going to tell her up front, this is what I'm looking for, what are you looking for? And I'm going to tell her, if we, already, if, we, if, if we ever got married, I'm not having this fancy, smash, smashy wedding. Yeah, that's the one you show. I didn't even... Yeah. How did you ever go right to it? <laughs> you said, huh? I said, how did you know to go right to it? Uh, it looked so, so, so familiar. So. He better keep his eye on her. She like, she gets around. <laughs> Oh, you must know them. That must be your family. Nah. <laughs> My family don't, don't, don't look like that. They're like what? Like like these people. These people are blind. My family's born, you know. Um, uh, they, they look more happy. Oh, okay, okay. Like, you can tell these are happy. Bro, this has to be in Dallas, bro. Look at that. Look at that haircut. I would never see he was doing too much right here. Like, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> That's the culture that they do. And the nah, family. I'll never do that stuff. Of, bro, imagine in front of your family and your mom and shit. <laughs> what is he doing though? Taking her leg, something. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing now. I'm, I'm gonna stop watching because I'm gonna. This is not. <laughs> what in the world? This this is disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude.
duh. Why was you just stepping over the phone? What are you doing? Yeah. Bruh. Imagine the little kids. This is, this is all. Yeah, it's inappropriate, bro. Yeah, AC, you gotta be careful with these videos, man. I don't know. I, I, I wasn't saying, yeah, I wasn't saying AC. I was just saying what he's doing is just, just like, you're going a little over the top, and she's loving it. Yeah, let me skip that part. And Texas, and Texas, you gotta slow down, you gotta slow down with describing it so hard. He's describing yeah. it a little bit too hard. We got, uh, we got to clean it. We got to start getting, the, getting a little more clean, just, just, just a tad bit. Oh, I, I wasn't describing it. I was like, I was like, what are they doing? I, I didn't say anything. I didn't describe it at all. What I did say, well, uh, never mind. Just... Yeah, I'm trying to slide a little more to the right with a lot of stuff. A little more to the right. I hope this is not copyright, AC. Nah, it's a... Uh, nah. <laughs> Oh God! Why are they dancing? Oh my! The whole party is dancing. Yeah, party guys. Hey, C, go ahead and wave your hands, man. <laughs> go ahead, throw your hands in the air, wave them like you just don't care. That's that. That's that typical cliche stuff. <laughs> Who, who, whoever had that idea? Just after the divorce. No, I was saying that that whole saying. Throw your hands up in the air and just wear them like you just don't care. That's probably Ice Cube. He's like he's like he's a corny corny guy that would do that. Does a white dude? I mean, AC. Her mom is white. The the, the bride. Oh, the mom is white. Yeah, that was a shocker to me. Yeah, she. Cause I, I remember last time you showed, she was hugging her mom. That was a shocker to me, cause she. Yeah, she doesn't look that 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 makes like that. Facts. But no, nah, she's still a pretty woman. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely He needs to keep his eye on her, bro. That's all I'm going to say. You laughing? Yeah, she saw that, that leg. You saw that? Yeah. I wonder when they got married, uh, how much you want to bet it doesn't last longer than two years? Or oh, over under? Not over. over. I keep my eyes on her. She probably keeps keep eyes on him, too. But, I, but I'm pretty much like this. If if I ever got married overseas and and, and it'll come out if 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 she's if she's had an affair and I'll just divorce. Because God reveals he, what what's in the dark must come to light. But the only problem is, is like I don't want that stuff to be like going on for ten years and you find oh my God. The voice. <laughs> Yeah. Damn. 
that that's your type of woman right here. Wait, you said what? This is your type of girl. Is AC there? Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I guess it, it flipped. Uh, you said, is that my kind of woman? Yeah. I'm not even going to comment. <laughs> but hey, bro, they love each other, man. Nah, this is the uh, um, bridesmaid. Mm. Hey, there you go, AC. Hey, that's AC, everybody. <laughs> you saw AC. That's AC. <laughs> you like CJ McCollum, bro. That's not me. They're in Atlanta, Georgia, huh? Yep. You know what they say about Atlanta? These weddings just look so stupid, bro. I'm sorry, shout out to them, but it's just like, look, 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 look at all that stuff. It looks crazy, man. It looks insane. All that money being spent just for, for a possible future divorce. <laughs> Man. Yo, that's crazy. What? What is that? It's probably the Ray Lewis. Or... I thought it was the Ray Lewis. Did it. Oh. oh, when OBJ did the Ray Lewis? Oh, man, that was so sus. It was so sus? Yeah, it still was sus. He can actually dance, though. That's what's crazy. I saw what is this dude doing? doing? What is that? <laughs> I think it's that um new thing. Well, I forgot what dance that it was popular back in last year. The what's that called? The squabble, whatever they called it. Bro, why? This is so this is so not right, bro. Why are they dancing on each other like to eat each other other like this, bro? Huh? She's trying to get married. But why is everything got to be so provocative with with, with these some, some of these weddings? That's a, a culture. Yeah. Well, I if if I ever well, you already know. I just want to go to the courthouse uh, in a different country and just just say, oh, well, there's like a pastor or someone and just get married and then just call it a day. It probably saved like twenty pounds. 
even the courthouse I think of at least the band. Probably no more than a band. Like I wouldn't know if I'm if I'm at a club or, or what. Looking at this. But they're having fun though, man. This is my daughter, everybody. She's getting married, everybody. I want you to take pictures of the wedding, everybody. Well, I'm pretty sure Hispanic weddings is probably like packed too, so. Probably all weddings. Are you gonna have your dog at your wedding when you get married, AC? Yeah, if my dog is alive. <laughs> you might actually marry your dog. Is she gonna have a dog family with her? <laughs> got my family on one side, the dog on the other side. She gonna have her dad, the dad, dad dog, and the mother dog are gonna. <laughs> so when she gets married to you, she gonna dance with the father dog. I'm just playing, bro. I'm playing trolling. As if you couldn't tell. Damn. <laughs> the hell? You saying what I'm saying? It's AC. Nothing amazes me anymore. <laughs> Dang. And there's nothing in the back either. <laughs> Yo, people like that be having the worst attitude ever. Yeah. Got nothing in the back. You got nothing in the back. And then did it went straight to the uh, dance floor. They didn't dance a lot. She's like, we ain't doing that for shenanigans. Yeah, we got, yeah, yeah, honey. They're going to get divorced in like five years anyway. <laughs> What's the what's the score of the ML, what's the score of the Yankee game? <laughs> he came out too. Bro, what is I mean I understand every wedding you you want to have a good time, so but it's just like is this a WWE event? Because they're all dressed up. And... Oh man, he knows something. He's trying to shave and a roll. Lazy and ready to shoot a video, man. He's going to Johnson and Canteen.
Oh man, this is terrible. <laughs> My God, I cannot dance. <laughs> bro, what is he doing? <laughs> He, bro, he, 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 you know Pitbull because he can't dance. Yes, that's what Pitbull does. <laughs> yeah, when they can't dance, they just start randomly spinning around and stuff. <laughs> okay, who's coming on now? Oh, bro, he can't dance either, bro. God, dog. <laughs> When these dudes can't dance, they just start skipping and spinning, bro. <laughs> they, they can't dance. <laughs> yeah, just snap my fingers, move my arms around. Well, the black guy. Uh oh, <laughs> surely he won't let anybody down. Oh god! Oh god! <sighs> Oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh man! Is he gonna pull off something for it? <laughs> nope. What is he doing? Oh man! Oh man! Oh, that's terrible. Yep, spin a circle. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> That's hilarious. Dang, she came out by her soul. Dang. She kind of represent. Man, dude's late, bro. Where you at, bro? <laughs> Too late. How did that happen, bro? Actually, did they fighting or Uh oh, this is a real thing now. En enough games, it's time to get down to nitty gritty. Somebody is getting ready to go down. Oh, she looks miserable. She didn't want to be there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we, we know you can't dance, bro. It's looking like a, he's, he reminds me of Hispanic Neo, bro, with that hat on. It's cool, bro. I'm just saying. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, they cannot dance. <laughs> yeah, the classic point to people when you win the spotlights on you and you can't do anything. Dang. How you gonna have a hat like that? You can't dance. <laughs> Nobody has rhythm. Even the black, come on, black dude. Oh, man. Did they practice? <laughs> That's the practice that What is this? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you seen the movie Greasers? The movie what? Greasers. Uh, no, I have not. What about the Warriors? I have not. I don't recall. You haven't seen the Warriors? No, nah, man. Ah, uh, that's a classic. <sighs> See, like, you're so happy and, and, the, and the, the voice rate is so high. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn my head while while this is showing because I, I I I've seen enough women today. <laughs> You say you see you see them out today. I mean, I like I do like women, like like from from that standpoint. But I, I've seen too much, bro. I mean, bro, come on. A few videos ago, we've seen the bride literally show her leg, <laughs> trying to show what she's got. Come on. It's like just for anybody that's off there. That's what I told you. He just keep his eye on her, dude. This is she was, she, was, she, was, she was attractive though. Yeah, go ahead. This is better than the last video. At least they have it organized. Oh, this is not it's not much, but it's, it's something. The kids can still watch it and you know it's it's, it's still appropriate. Facts, so, like, man. And, and, and groping and all that stuff. As a single man who's trying to do better than what I was some years ago, I was feel uncomfortable with the other wedding, bro. Like, bro, I'm looking at everybody just all up on each other, not even probably not even married to each other. I'm like, no, hold on. And some chicks like, baby, you want to dance? I was like, uh, no. If I was to get married, my mom's still alive, God willing, I'm definitely going to do the most, and I'm going to dance my mom. Like, I'm going to do yeah. I'm gonna yeah, you should, people, man. I'm, I'm going to make the crowd laugh and, the, and show people uh, the bond that me and my mom have. Just mm -hmm. That's good, man. It's going to be vice versa. It's going to be nice and classic with my wife. I do get married. And it's going to be super hyper with my mom. So it's, it, it's going to be vice versa. I'm going to be like, I'm going to do the fuck up. I like, I have this imagination where it's the, the lights is gonna be off, and then it's gonna be all dramatic. I'm a, uh, I'm not even gonna tell my mom what's going on. <laughs> well, you say your wife, you mean you, you, you mean your dog, right? <laughs> you gonna say, I love you, dog. She, she gonna say, Okay, they're still doing a little too much here, man. <laughs> but AC, my only thing is, I don't know why, bro. Like, my only thing is this, bro. Like, AC, with these weddings, why can't they just go back to the old, you know, the old kind of, you know, ha, 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 like the old dancing, you know, where you grab one hand and you grab the other and y'all rock about baby. I mean, because it's like everything is, they make everything, you know, the, the S word, like, ex, like you know, actual. Yeah, bro, I'm like, like, we don't have to always do that, bro. Like, why do you have to dip down and, like, no. That, that's just society, bro. I don't think everything has to be, like, you know, suggestive. Yeah. Keep it classy. Like the, that's the, 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 peop the way people dress, the music. It's just, that's what it's around. Even food, bro. Like, if you look at these commercials... If yeah. You really look at these food commercials. The way the stars be looking, it be looking like someone's about to bust. Like the way the That's sauce a fact, man. And stuff. Like sauces do not be look like that. And then you know they always have like a female's hands, like uh, like uh, like. Like um, like 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 she's placing the bro. Like, like hold on, I, I know you, I know, I know you've seen this. Like you know what? Like like a, they show like a woman like putting like the food on the platter all slowly and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Come on, like everything is just like you said. It's just hyper, you know, like sexualized. It's all. It's about that. It's all about that. SES. Man, this dude's not taking his time at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> Boy, look at look, look, you saw he dipped his head. <laughs> he don't want to be there either, bro. This dude either. You know he don't want to be there. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You know she doesn't want to be there.
But I yeah, yeah, give him the fake smile. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Bro, she does not want to be there. She <laughs> told that fake smile. Hold up. She's thick. Niggas always be crying. <laughs> Why did he cry, bro? He like, man, not the voice gonna be so hot. It's nice to see the father involved. I mean, we don't know if, if that's actually the dad because it could be like the uncle or something but i'm assuming it's the father that's what uh his real homie to, to wipe the tears off his face i don't know if i could wipe the tears off my friend's face like that <laughs> a funeral is a different thing like if, if, if I'm at my friend's funeral and his, his mother passed or, or someone that he cared about passed away, then yeah. But his wedding, yeah. I don't know if I can wipe his tears off his wedding. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I'm back here, bro. That's crazy. He don't even look happy to be there. Nor, nor did she. <laughs> like they, they gotta stop uh, being their true selves. And they gotta commit to each other. Let me see if I can play a little bit of audio. Remember when you accidentally took all my keys to work? I realized then I couldn't even get mad at you. In all seriousness, this journey is going to. Be I'm gonna take away the audio just to play it safe. Yeah, man. A little, a little bit. I vow to be your light in times of darkness. <clears throat> I vow to always cover you in prayer. Be the flower to your seed. Be present and patient. Support your wildest dreams. And cre- All right, that's enough. Let the play safe. As a sign of my love. (laughs) Mama getting down. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Hey, you oh, they're happy to be there. Well, he's so happy. Man, he's so happy. He's like, man, I forgot my, I forgot my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Just left it behind. Like, she like, forget him. I'm in my moment right now. <laughs> yeah, she's grooving, man. Because they're happy to be there, for real. This is the pro. I actually want to get up and dance, AC. she? <laughs> oh, you got the little ones in. I hear the kids come, man. <laughs> I was laughing at something else. Little man. Little man gotta come on, man, you gotta do something. <laughs> Little man just walked straight to where he had to go. <laughs> My guy, stick with him. Boy, she she's the one. She did all the twelve. Man, you see, he doesn't he doesn't want to move. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you do the work. I'm just gonna tour you. Yeah, he don't want to be there, dude. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> this one sucks. This sucks. What the heck was that? Just throw your hands on. What the hell? That was terrible. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting busy back there. See, these, okay, this one, he's he's happy to be there for sure. He's trying to spend as much time as first as possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, people have shades on, they're full of themselves. Yeah, I, I'm uh, against wearing shades. Oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> Fuck it. Make a fool of yourself. Fuck it. I don't know what he's doing. I've been intoxicated and trying to hide it with the glasses. Tell me why I, I gotta wear sun, sunglasses to Lakewood Church during this Hillsong concert. Because a uh, Hillsong will go to Lakewood Church. Every is, is Hillsong, are, are they really uh, what they say they are? Well, back then I believe them, but now that I'm older. You know, there's so much shit going on that I don't hear it no more. Dang, she has shown a lot of skin. <laughs> Dang. But, um, yeah, I heard the allegations about her song. I really can't trust no one. Nope. Like, this is that Maverick City or whatever. Yeah, he's like, he was well, trying to shoot a rap video. <laughs> <laughs> she pissed. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the heck's she doing? Yeah, she definitely has a lot of masculine energy. <laughs> yep. She ran to the whistle. the whistle? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> just when you think you can't, just when you think you've seen it all, they see. Oh no, there's more. <laughs> My dog in real life is like, dude, where the hell are you at, bro? It's bedtime. <laughs> Oh, they got fireworks. <laughs> See, if my wife, she's not wearing that dress. I have to see her back on like that. Which one is worse, her or the, or the other one that's showing the one to show the whole world her leg? <laughs> uh, which one is worse? I'm gonna have to say it's close. They're both bad because you know the sacred weddings, bro. You're actually supposed to be completely covered, and then, you know also the color. You know the color white means that you're a virgin. That you're a what? When you were a white, it means it's supposed to mean that you're a virgin because it means pure. Mm. A lot of people that were white be capping. They don't even know the meaning of what they're they're doing. It looks nice. his wife. He, maybe his wife is good, but the other one, the first one we saw, or, or the one that was just trying to show the world, look at my quads, y'all. Yeah, he needs to be because because I I, I I study people the way she was kind of moving. And she, she she she's out there looking in the field while this dude looking over there. She's looking in the field like. Any any time, baby. <laughs> wow, he got word. Hit my line. There you go. Oh, I like that. I, I I always when I was a kid wanted to just lay down to smoke. You probably. <laughs> yeah, you probably. Well, well, it's probably not dangerous. Oh hell yeah, it is. I was dangerous, and I was still. I was, I, I was just stand up, AC. <laughs> Won't get up. 
Now I'll tell you this though, the the chick that you know I told you you got a little he's watch out for. I think she's more attractive attractive than this one. This one's more thick though. Yeah, I mean Nah, they're about the same. To me, to me. Yeah, but the other one is more attractive. Because you can tell without makeup. I don't know. Yeah. See, that's the thing. When you pick up makeup, you can't be looking like this gonna sound bad. So please forgive me. <laughs> but you can't be looking like a man with makeup, bro. You can't be looking like a kid. Yeah, you see, yeah. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but why I remember I was you working. Huh? You look like a teenage boy. Yeah, bro, I was working uh, at, a, at a hotel back in the day, and it was this chick. Um, she, well, I won't even talk about her, talk about because I don't want to lust or anything. But um, she, yeah, she, I heard her voice, and then I was like, okay, I know who that is. But then I saw her without makeup. I was like, "Huh? Oh, wow!" <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, let me stop, God forgive me. Let me stop that. Let me stop that. Let me stop. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make those any comments like that. I, mean, I didn't say anything. I was like, "Oh, but it's like what it is, man." Uh, uh, you just saying nothing else bad. I don't think I went too bad on any of these women. Like you know, like I don't, I, I, I wasn't lust, lusting or anything. But all I did was call out the one chick. I'm like, yeah, you can't be exposing that skin, man. You're married now. Yeah, shut a whole time. <laughs> like not, not even. Like I'm not gonna comment on it because uh, <laughs> I, the old me would have. That's him and his mama. Yeah, I did. Now, what a feeling for the mama. Mm-hmm. Let her son go. It's like, boy, you better not fuck up. <laughs> you know what's cringe, too? When people get in their second, third, fourth marriages. Like, bro, mm-hmm. how are you going to two, three? <laughs> like, I, I, I the first one, I, I'm done. I need to find Madonna. I'm done. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm going to find Madonna, bro. I'm gonna get married to her, and I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna say, "Hey, AC, you gonna see me in the picture, just smiling, teeth showing." Yeah, I got, I got the bag. <laughs> Madonna, man, she been passed around. But I'm saying, though, you get married to her, then you, then you, then you can say, I, "I, I got it, man. I got the money." Man, she's still attractive. I haven't seen her recently. I guess they're saying they're uh 1999, 2000. So that's about 23 years at this stage. We met sophomore year in high school when Phil transferred schools to come to Roselle Catholic. I just gave y'all age away. Early, we found <laughs> we shared the same love for the game it's of basketball and that initially brought us together. So y'all are about there, the friendship really grew over the next roughly 40, 41, 42. <laughs> nah, I think late. I mean, they look for you. Yeah. Well, he said, he said high school, right? So, I mean, they were at least like 16, 17, 18, maybe 19, somewhere around there. So, 23 years. Let me hear this guy. Sister from another mother. Um, so, I'm going to start things off. I'm going to keep it nice, cute, and short. I know we're ready to celebrate. We've already heard three speeches. So, the day Kristen met Phil. Okay, I thought he was going to be Mark. <laughs> hey brother, it doesn't. Hey bro, any, anybody can put on a voice, bro. <laughs> just just know that. Gonna be my old self, but give it up to Phil friends back there, BSU. A lot of them corny dudes back there sitting back there. Um, don't pay attention to them, bro. This is what they. I don't see that man. Bro, 
was chat. right. I guess I, I think they're crying, maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, uh, he's going into. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wait, wait, where did they get off of them? Though? What uh, doing doing this thing? Yeah, they get this this thing that's that's in. It. Is it on her leg? Yeah. He's supposed to only use his mouth, I guess. To show his skills. He's supposed to show, like, <laughs> what's supposed to happen in the bedroom. That's... Hey, so you, if I ever get married, there won't be none of this. As soon as they say, you know, you may not kiss the bride, I'll say, hey, say no more. I'm, I'm taking her to, to a safe place where you're at. Just saying, there'll be none of this kind of uh, this ambiance, this none of this pageantry, none of this uh, ceremonial talk. Oh, he throws that shit to the crowd. Wow, well, I wouldn't catch that. No, I I didn't know he throws that to the crowd. Oh no, it's a bunch of men too. Like I knew the bouquet, but not you know that thing. Let's see who catches it. Hey, it's a terrible. Bro, what the hell, bro? He said he got to do that again, bro. <laughs> he threw that whole hell of I was trash. Did you smell it? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> bro, they're, they're not even trying to catch it, bro. I wouldn't want to catch it either. I guess he got it, man. He don't even want it, bro. He just looking like, uh. <laughs> oh shit! He puts it on somebody else. <laughs> I didn't know that, bro. That leg probably weighs at least thirty pounds. Oh man! <laughs> you gotta get a hold of yourself, man. Hey, at least he didn't use his mouth. I would never use my mouth, bro. Dang, he's going all up her thigh and everything. <laughs> Dang. And at those weddings, bro, you got single women looking around trying to dance and see what man do. Am I going to try to get attention? In their feelings, you know? Huh? You know, single women in their feelings. Yeah. As they should be. Especially if they're in their late 20s. Late 20s? Yeah, because, you know, they can't have kids. You said late 20s can't have kids? Yeah, a woman. The older a woman gets, the uh, the more problems it is. Brother, late twenties and she she can have kids easily. What do you mean? The closer a woman is to her thirties, bro, it's a, I feel like if, if a chick is like twenty seven, twenty eight, she can easily have kids. Yeah, but her time is that's like the deadline. No, bro, like no, like for, for a lot of women. It starts to get really, really tough around 30, like 33, 34 is when it starts to, you need to really go ahead and do something. Yeah, but then look, when the kid is 20, now you're 50. See? Yeah, but they see, you said late 20s, bro. That's still young. It's young to us, but in terms of like, like, I guarantee you this. No, bro. A 27, 20 year old can easily have children. Easily. Yeah, but she's her, like, the, the bio, biological time, time clock is ticking. Oh, no, it's ticking, but I'm saying, like you said, you said, like, I was like, nah. But, <laughs> they got makeup uh, on them yet? Nah. That's, I don't know. They're all out, bro. The hip is now, good. Now, I'll say this, though. If a, a woman, should, this is my take. 
and, and I've even seen some women panic. Like if a woman is like twenty nine and she there's like no sign of her having a family, then that's kind of because a lot of dudes will be looking at it like, oh okay. Most people get married to in their the early twenties, like the, the girl at least. What is she doing? Well, with my oh. wife is pregnant, if I do have a wife, she's going to eat nothing but uh, fruits and veggies. <laughs> I'm not going to play that shit. And if my wife doesn't agree, she ain't going to be my wife. Period. Like, but you got to discuss that. You got to discuss that. Like, when you and y'all first, like, kind of meet. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah, but, so that's what I tell you. Yeah, I'm just going to be straight up and say, listen, this is what I'm looking for. Wait, wait, what? This I'm looking for this, 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 and this. What are you looking for? And I want to make sure I can meet those. Do, 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 you know. But there's a lot, a lot of people that don't take their pregnancy serious. Like when they're pregnant, they just perform another type of crazy stuff. And it's like, cool, do what you want to do, but you have a baby inside of you, and whatever you eat, the baby's gonna eat as well. So. Yeah. You're eating all this pasta stuff and like candy. Like I get it, you have cravings, but now you're you're introducing that baby to Red Forty already. <laughs> my my mom ate a bunch of watermelon when I was a kid. Yeah, I had like they said I had like allegedly like um, seeds when I came out. I was I was a big boy though, man. I was a big boy. I was I was a Mack truck, huh? How 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 many pounds were you? Maybe uh, I made like a closer to ten pounds, like nine point something. I, I, I heard that's a big baby. Yeah, I was about nine pounds too. Okay. Yeah. Do you uh, want to have your wife uh, to push it out, or would you want her to have a C C section? C section? Uh, no, no, I want to. Man, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what's the difference, but I mean, like, wow. no, I know. I know what it is. They gotta actually get it out of her. But I'm saying, like, uh, yeah. I know. I say whatever she feels comfortable with, because it's her body, you know. Uh, okay. Because I mean, see, I'm fair, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see, you know, what, honey, whatever is best for you, because I don't wanna, because that's her body, and I, and I wanna, you know, but she could push it out, push it out. I mean, I guess. I'm, I'm not going to be in the room. Are oh, you not going to be in the room? Heck no, I'm not going to see that site. But uh, you, you don't want to be your, the first thing that you take to Oh, to comfort her, huh? Well, I mean, the first thing, like, I heard that attachment is crazy. It's just, when the kid comes out, you know, and, and you're there, to the first one to hold the baby. That, no, I, no, no, I'm saying I will, I'm not going to be inside like the room, but as soon as it comes out, then I'm going to be okay. Here, where's my kid? Where's my kid? <laughs> what What about if she needs comfort to push through that pain? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I probably have to be there. I, 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 just, I just wouldn't look. You see what I'm saying? I'll just be right there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Bro, they have vids on YouTube of uh, it shows everything. That's just crazy. Yeah, I don't want to see that. That's disgusting, bro. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna I'm check out here. Though. I'll probably come back on to, to, to tomorrow, though, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here too, man. All right, man. All right, yeah. All right, bro. Oh, crap.
Yeah. <laughs> 